and we are live. Welcome to the Iron Lords podcast, episode number 35. And it's another glorious Sunday, and we are back at the round table on the Lord's Day. We have a lot of gaming news to discuss, so we're going to get right into it. So let's introduce those usual suspects at the round table. My co-host with the co-most, my brother from another mother, and the how of the young wolf, my man, Lord Attic. How are we doing, sir? Pretty good. No doubt, no doubt. Very exuberant. That's good. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience. He's back to offline profile this week. <laughs> My man, Lord Sovereign, how are we doing, sir? Doing good, man. Doing good. A lot of work this week, so I couldn't do Destiny like I wanted to. I, I played a little bit yesterday. Um, got some, got some Iron Banner in. Um, you went into competitive to, PvP. Yeah, I went. I told you, I'm not. I, I'm not nearly as bad as I thought I would. <laughs> so I'm like, hey. <laughs> let me ask you real quick. What's the loadout? What, what's what's the loadout though? What's, the what, loadout what right with? now. It's Mida Mini, and Ooh. um. Mida Multi right now, but that's those okay. are, those are the ones Mida. I run. Yeah, those are the ones I run with in PvP. But I'm um, in PV, mm. uh, PVE. I have. Hmm, I think I'm using like the like Sunspot or something like that. I forget the name. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're know. talking about. Yeah, the yeah. Sun. The Sun. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I haven't had too much luck with hand cannons in PvP. Like, yeah, you, stay, you, that, you, stay away from it. Stay yeah, away, man, don't, like, like, they're not in a good place. Those are no. some pulses. I'm Unless you're gonna use the better devils, that yeah, yeah no, don't, he's right, he's right, he's right. Yeah, better devils. Is I have, better I have better devils. I have a base two ninety nine, so I'm trying to get, but it's a, but it's my kinetic weapon. Like, so like doesn't, doesn't matter. You're, you're yeah. fine at whatever. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fine. That's the big thing in the community right now. Yeah. Everybody's upset. The better devils. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna nerf them hand yeah. cannons. They will <laughs> at some point. They will. They're gonna nerf them hand cannons. So that's it. That's pretty much what you've been rocking. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a little bit more of Axiom Verge, and um, well, I guess we'll talk about we'll that more we'll later. Yeah, no doubt. And of course, the excess gamer. Oh, the Lord, who's a man of his convictions, demands nothing less than that premium experience. Oh, beloved Lord King, how are we doing, sir? Doing fantastic. Yo, the boxing gods is crazy. And Yo. Attic rolls his eyes. Yo, it don't matter about <laughs> Attic. It ain't about Attic. Yo, it is so crazy yesterday. Like, it must have been a boxing holiday. It was insane. <laughs> you had boxing on Fox. You had boxing on HBO. You had boxing on Showtime. Now, I'm not going to give you all the names. I'm just going to give you the principal fighters. It was mm -hmm. a KO fest last night. You had KOs in every fashion that oh, you right? wanted to get it. Like... Every fight except for the Lauder fight was a KO. You had the Abner Mares fight, that was a KO. You had the Santa Cruz fight, that was a KO. You had the George Groves fight, that was a KO. That was over there to my UK people in London. That was fantastic over there. It looked really good in them shits <laughs> over there. That was fantastic. Let me get it popping. Let me get Let it popping. got it popping yesterday. Yes. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to my man, James. Yo, James. <laughs> it was a good look for you guys Pretty over there. Great. Both and, and over there up, push that pawn. Yeah. Then, then you had um, all right. You had the the Santa Cruz. You had oh uh, what's this? Demarco, Demarco knockout was crazy. <laughs> then John Demarco. No, 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 not Don DeMarco. But yo, you might you might want to start calling him Don DeMarco after that knockout right there. Then you all got right. your, then you got the Showtime fight. So, oh, mm. bro! Shout out to Al Heyman. Al Heyman, you you are God sent to the sport of boxing. You and your 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 ties to Showtime, you guys have put forth the greatest fights that we have seen this year. This has been the greatest year for me to be alive as a boxing enthusiast because you had the Laura fight fighting his mentor. All these people's fighting their mandatories. You mm -hmm. had the Charlo fight fighting Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin is a big thing in these streets. He was the up and coming. He was a young wolf. They was trying to set Charlo up. Charlo knocked him out in the first round with this uppercut that hit his jaw. Homeboy folded, and he was still swinging while on the ground. It was knockout of the year. It was okay. insane. 
insane. And okay, then, we got to get um, some of these dudes on, on the Lord's pocket. We're going to be promoting them. Oh, so much. <laughs> oh I, I, I really, I really feel that it was fantastic. You know, um, I can't go on to say uh, too much about it yesterday. It was just, it was just a beautiful night in combat sports. Shout out to uh, X and me. For holding a kid down. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, whoa, really? That's Easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows what that is. Yeah, no one yeah. knows what that is. Nobody no, knows what that, that is. Let's just oh, keep it that way. That yeah. so, <laughs> we hear the Lord don't condone any other things other than watching it. <laughs> yeah, we just we watched it though. We watched it though. Yeah, that's that's the name of the bar that he went to. The yeah, yeah, I was at the. I was. Right. It's in my living room. It was at the. It was the living room. The excellent thing. On the ILP street. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Spreading that game and realness on the ILP. Not telling you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. So uh, let's get into what the Lords have been playing. We you know there's a lot going on. So let's start with the young wolf himself, Lord Attic. What have you been playing this week? Pretty much just Destiny 2 this week. Nothing else, really. No doubt. Shout out on that raid. We got to get Callus done. We had a lot of fun. I was oh shout out oh shout out to Revos and, and Demon. They are damn hilarious. And also uh Jensen. Good good run. We had some fun. We just gotta finish up Callus and uh those uh what you call that lag was a little crazy, but we gotta get that straight now. We should be all good. So Lord Sov, what have you been touching? You said a little axiom, what you was doing? Yeah, I mean basically a lot of work this week, so I didn't couldn't play as much destiny as I wanted to. Um but definitely um playing more axiom verge, getting a little further in that than I did on the Vita version. Um, and then starting up Stardew Valley, but Stardew is one of those things like if you're not paying attention to it completely, it kind of it kind of takes over. So I wanted mm. to actually finish Axiom Birds before I, I really dip into Stardew. Um, Real quick, because I see Lord Kaibatsu talking about Stardew. Like, what is it? Is it just farming? Like, I'm still confused. What this? It, it's a it's an it's an RPG slash farming simulator slash dating simulator. It's a little bit of everything in one. Mm. And I think that's okay. the draw that people have. Like, again, people, we haven't gotten a new Harvest Moon in forever. We haven't gotten a new Earthbound in forever. And these are games that people, you know, old school players kind of, mm. they, they love and they would like to have a new version of. And this filled that void. And again, like I said last week, like I said last week, is one dude who did it. So it's like, you really want to support this guy. Like, it was, oh, this, okay. when it first came out, this game was crack for a lot of people. Like, it just, it just hit every every little aspect of that farming thing that people like, like mm -hmm. breaking stuff down, the Minecraft type, type stuff where you can create different things from stuff that you break down. Mm -hmm. It just has that addictive loop. So, I mean, that's why that's why it's as popular as it is. Facts, facts. Lord King, what have you been playing? Destiny and a little bit of Cuphead here and there. I take Cuphead in small doses. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I got to do it. You know, I give uh, Attic all the credit in the world that he can sit there and he can go at it as hard as he went at it to finish it. Um, I, I don't have that uh, the fortitude to do that or the dexterity to even, you know, accomplish anything close to that. But my Destiny days has been blending together, bro. Yeah. I did a raid last night, and I didn't even know that I had completely completed the raid with my other characters. So it, 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 it my days are blending. It's incredible. <laughs> no doubt. No, facts. That's funny you say that. Because um yeah, for it's been Destiny, same here with me. Um shout out to Lord Cal. And I got some of them kings of raptures. We we actually did a nightfall together. It was kind of cool. So shout out to Cal and his people. I believe it's our Lord Lord Elite himself. King of Raps, we got that done. Oh by the way Cal your man sound I forgot to tell you man sound like um Tommy from Power. I've got to tell you that. <laughs> wow. He do. What's up, everybody in the chat? You're like, no disrespect. I love Tommy from Power. Like, he literally sounds like I was meaning to tell you that because I was laughing to myself. Y'all watch Power. Y'all know Tommy is. He's like literally carving copy. So we got that in. We got the nightfall popping. Um, oh, I want to shout out to my peoples. Um, first of all, Wolverblade, man. It's a little switch joint. It's a um hack and slash. I want to shout out to my guy, Michael Held, and the whole team at Fully Illustrated. I've been rocking with those guys for a while. You know, this it was on uh, it was on the Nintendo Nindy Showcase a while back, a little in the corner, kind of like, think, think like, King, think like Final Fight Mixed. Remember this old EA game was Hack and Slash, it was real bloody, it was called Sword of Sudan. You ever remember oh, that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was a garbage game back then, but it was just bloody, you cut heads off. Mm -hmm. and, 
good yeah so this is like the local co-op beat em up old school with the 1080p cell shaded yo it's really beautiful and the voice acting is great just like the story they got story i thought it was just gonna be a little you know 80s 90 kind of game yeah. Ah, they, they kind of go in there for the twenty dollars. For the twenty dollars, yeah, twenty dollars spot is a nice sweet spot for that's games. a nice thing. Follow that Cuphead wave. So, yo, yeah. shout out to full. Shout out to Wolf Blade. They gave me a lot of props for um picking up the game, and we're definitely a fan of it. So, um, yeah, check that guy out if you guys have a switch. And I believe it's coming to Xbox and um what you call PS4. But I think Switch gets the exclusivity first on mm-hmm. on a little nifty joint. So Uh-oh. check that. out. Oh yeah, um shout out to Cuphead for um passing a million sales. Oh yeah, salute. Oh, yeah. Salute. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's Fantastic. Amazing. Absolutely. So of course we got the last week's poll results are in. We had two big polls and the people have spoken. So let's deal with poll one. So to the question with the the rise of loot crates in gaming, like Forza, Assassin's Creed Origins, Shadow of War, blah blah blah. Does voting with your vi- wallet even matter? In a tight poll at 58% is the yes, resist loot boxes and make change. <laughs> <laughs> the resistance is out here. You know what I'm saying? So they want it to happen. It was really close. You know what I'm saying? Coming in at second place. 42% is the no, the masters will do the lay down, stay down, and conform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was really close. So about poll number one, I'm just going to throw it to the Lord. What do we, what do you feel about that? What the people are saying? I feel, I'll be honest, like, uh, I agree. You have to resist, resist the loot boxes, but I'll get into this more in, in my topic. Yeah. But, you know, there's some people whose response to this is, to boycott the game, and I yeah, think that's, yeah. that's a bit much. I we think go, we gonna get into that. I want. Yeah. I'm so glad you brought that up because I definitely want to get. There's a lot of stuff in the streets with that. So yeah, hold hold on to that one, soft, because I know where you're going. Like yeah, oh. I'm with you, Lord Lord King, Lord Attic. What do you guys feel? About? Oh, um, my my thing is the same thing as Lord Sovereign. Um, I think they're losing the narrative here. Is you're not boycotting the game. You're boycotting what the practices are in the game. You can still mm-hmm. be part of the game, you know, to to like the game. So, um, yeah, that's when we get to that topic. Yeah, um, I, we can expound on that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And uh, I, think look, that, um, <laughs> I think as an individual, um, as an individual, it's it's irrelevant. I mean, you can you can not, you know buy loot crates that's cool but when it comes to the old thing you're not the whole industry and there won't ever be a whole movement there's very few times in the gaming industry's history where there's been such a mass movement of people all on the same page that it actually matters mm-hmm. okay. like i said i mean it has some minimal effect and you know but we, we gonna get into it this is a good one this is so good love it all right so poll two since we had to double up last week um to the question do we feel bungie has over casualized the destiny 2 end game trials <laughs> i am been a prestige raid at the expense of the hardcore base the winner and kind of a smoking 70 percent strong is yes power yes, level and grind is gone that group is upset they said it's over casualized coming in at only 30 percent was the no destiny 2 is more fun and better now group so i bring this again to the round table what do you think about this i do i definitely think they casualized the game but i think it's better for the overall brand mm, that's a good the point stuff they, the stuff they casualized it didn't really mean nothing in destiny one it was just m- more of a mental a mental <laughs> thing like it, it took <laughs> 10 <clears throat> about what they were called light levels it took 10 light levels to, to really, really make a relevance yeah. yeah and if you get up to that point you sh- it sh- everyone should be on equal terms anyway so mm-hmm. you know i i get why people are upset over it but it's like look like they're trying to let you play other games like let them yeah i see what you're saying i think yeah the hardcore probably struggling with that because we're so used to just playing nothing but that is destiny and not be finished <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> with anything <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of new, but that's a good point. That's a real good point. What do the uh, rest of the Lords think about that? Well, well, I feel that 
Uh, it's great that they did it that way. Um, you can run across a lot of people as 305 that never did the raid. And mm -hmm. I like that, um, that you can achieve that light level without doing certain things. You're not locked out of certain things. You don't have people looking at you saying, oh, what? You 305? Uh, you know, or, or you, 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 you're 299 and you need those extra light levels and it can only come from the raid. Um, and mm -hmm. maybe you're not good in the or Maybe you don't have friends like that. Um, but the way Destiny is set up now, they want more people to group together. They want the MMO experience, how they're delivering it to you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have people on your friends list that's like, yo, buddy, I'll run you through trials real quick. You want to do it? You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Or I am Banner this weekend, which is lit this weekend. Um it's been real. It's, it's, it's fun because I, I don't even play high end banner, but I was in there. I, I got some stuff. <laughs> so you would saw. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's it's definitely. I, I like the, the the way that they're bringing other people in and including people. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, it's a good topic. I mean, real quick, I'll just jump expound on it. Like, I I agree. I think overall, like, I Lord Attic nailed it. Like, for the health of the game. It's it's good overall that the casuals, so to speak, are playing everyone's in and it's it's popular. But at the same time, like I think for DLC two, they when they do kind of raise the level cap again, you know what I'm saying? The hardcore needs something to continually be, be invested. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think, think they, they need to convert yeah, make a little tweak. power level for hardcore and convert that to weapons and armor. Mm -hmm. Like the stuff from the raid should be so legendary that when you see someone that has it. You you know what they went through for it, right. and not like some of the stuff that we get from the raid. Right, right. They need they definitely need to, to get, get make that them hardcore. They need to feel special because <laughs> those are the groups yeah. rocking yeah, the flag. I, yeah, I don't like a a couple of things uh, mm -hmm. that is going on with the raid clothing and the Talk raid to weapons. Me. Talk um, to me. Let's get it. Right. Talk to me. All right. You so go. like previous games, when you got raid gear. The raid mm -hmm. gear and weapons will have a perk that is uh, makes the Thank raid you. easier Thank and you. shows your proficiency in doing the raid. Um, mm -hmm. This year, the, the the clothing is just clothing. It's like, just cosmetic. Yeah, yeah, it's very cosmetic to the point that you can put on the helmet and this helmet doesn't help you stay in the water with the bathers with protection Thank a little you. bit longer Thank or something. You. you know, it's like little things that it mm -hmm. this raid, it was thought out on the execution part, but mm -hmm. the devil's in the details and right. he's not he's not abundant in these details because right. the, the, the clothing nor the weapons mm -hmm. are essential to the raid exactly and and, it's, and Greg you said it because Bungie right now the, last, the weekly update came out I'm not going to get too much into your topic okay but I know that it came out and at least for the first time they're acknowledging it because if you look at Reddit right now the top five things is end games over casualization things that they took out systems that were there that were already in place like Lord King is saying when you got the raid closed each section of the clothes whether the boots it made you do something that helped in the mechanic of the raid you know what I'm saying? And yeah. this year, it's like, where is that? So it's like this it's like this snowball effect so I mean, of all these little hardcore things that were already there in Destiny 1 that they got right. You know what I mean? That for whatever reason, now these systems are gone and people are a little pissy, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think as the as the filthy, filthy casual in the group, like, I, I, I absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> As the resident cash. Yes. I absolutely <laughs> agree. <laughs> I mean, I get where people Stay are coming. Stuff, baby. <laughs> I get where people are coming from, but I feel like the the overall health of the game and how long the game lives is more it's important. More, than, absolutely. Like, well, and I do I do think there is a middle ground. Like I said, like we haven't got stuff like you know, Vota Glass, Cro like the weapons, you know, they're cool. But let's be real here. A lot of those weapons are kind of whack that we get from the raid. Like, mm. so, you know, it's whatever. But, like, at the same time, it's like, you know, the weapons had a theme to what they were. And, you know, they all kind of look alike. But it's just here's the scout uh, the scout rifle version of the auto rifle. Here's the auto rifle version of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, they, 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 wrote, they wrote slacked when it comes to that. And it's like, where is, you know... Where is our old fate bringer and where is you know the mm -hmm. the gun see when you got something like that 
you you <laughs> wanted it. But when I get something like this, I'm like, well, I just needed it to have them all. Yep. <laughs> I, I didn't actually want it. I would hope that, like, what well, we talked about yesterday, how the game is going to continue to, I mean, last week, how the game is going to continue to evolve, and I, I see those things being addressed. Like, I would I would hope that they address that in the prestige versions of, of yeah. either, like, moving forward in the Nightfalls and then also in the Raids. So that way, you have those mechanics in <laughs> In the raids and in the nightfalls that these that that, that the people the hardcore are used to, and that way right. you get the best of both worlds where I can play you know a, a certain version of it, and then somebody with more experience, somebody who wants something different out of it, can get play a different version, I harder mean, version of it. And I I don't see where that would be a difficult thing to do, and I think you address both issues in that way, mm -hmm. um, you know. But from like again, I think I agree with you guys. Absolutely, making it more accessible to more people is what the game needs for the long-term health like if you don't Absolutely. have that people are going to fall off they just, they just i don't necessarily mm -hmm. think that i like i don't like i do have hope that they address these but to be honest with you i'm really thinking they're just going to throw features that we had in destiny one and expand mm -hmm. uh expansions and try to sell that like yeah, what? that's what people are, people are, are like. like they like bungo is gonna hustle like, us with that. Like, how do we <laughs> not have? We waited two years from custom games just to have it stripped from us like a year later. Facts, <laughs> facts. Like, no what, sense. Ha we had what happened to matches. strike 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 specific gear? Like, yeah, what happened to um strike streaks? Remember the strike scoring system that they added at the end? Like all these systems that that like why are they not there on on base level? That's what. It's, so you it's think like in Destiny One how they kept bringing it uh. After taking King, they kept trying to sell us old shit and saying it's new shit. Yeah, I, I agree with them to an extent. That's the part with the hardcore community I have to agree with. I don't. I agree with your overall point, Sovereign. And shout out to Fame. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Fame. Was, was <laughs> respect, and, and I love yeah. the fact that guys like As King, ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In fact, I, I love that. I love that guy Box who's on his joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. That that part is fine. All we're saying is, like Lord Attic is saying, like if there's existing systems that they already had, they're gonna try to sell it to you in the DLC. Guaranteed. Why isn't it at the base level? It almost feels like your king. It's like remember when the Maddens used to come out, the new Madden come out. And they have a hot feature or or the law song yeah. like they have a hot feature in MLB yeah. the show. And then the next one, you like, where is it? Like that was hot. Like, yeah, like there's no reason why it should be taken out. <laughs> yeah. You could never yeah. take out something that works. You just expand upon it and keep I at. mean, you know, I can understand, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like Prison of Elders because technically yeah. through lore, it's impossible because you the reef isn't even accessible anymore. Right. But like when it comes to something as simple as custom games why is that not mm -hmm. there like and it's, that it's actually funny. can benefit your game overall why is mm -hmm. that not there real quick because i know we're going on but it's funny you even said that as far as lore because reddit exposed bungie with the whole power level things at iron banner they basically said you know soft it, according to the law with lord saladin right yeah. yeah. like iron something. banner is, is supposed to be different from crucible with yep. power level it's supposed to determine who's the strongest guardian so power yep. level is built into the law and they are they say but that bungie's not going against their own <laughs> they, they nerfed it they, they nerfed it because they know they know it's not it's it, it's not player friendly but people are not you know well here's the thing here's the thing if you ain't friendly towards iron banner play crucible you scrubs yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah basically, I get basically. That. I get, but I, listen man they, it, it, we're it, gonna get funny. Funny. defend the casual no, no, no what's funny is iron banner in destiny one wasn't even that like hardcore it was casual still it was mm. trisable sires was the hardcore pvp mode mode yeah. not iron banner the, the thing about it is, the more the more hardcore you make the game, the more you isolate it from the average player, right? Well, I get they, that, but when you only have three things, that's that's you know in-game content. In-game right. content is supposed to be for the in-game uh, guardians, like the elite players. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not it's not so hard to have the raid, the right. uh, the raid, the uh, raid. Iron Banner. Oh, I wouldn't even say Iron Banner. Let them casualize the hell out of that. I don't care about that. <laughs> Raid. Um, what is the new Trials of uh, Trials of the Nine? Of Raid the Nine. and Trials of the Nine. That's the only two things I don't want casualized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But uh, no, I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. It's just like I'm gonna be real. Like 
damn it, we might. I'm, I'm gonna ask you, King. We might have to go into your topic next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Destiny flow. We might have to switch up the order. But um, like what it is is like I miss when you go to your lineup before Iron Man or Trials or whatever, and you sit me like, okay, my gun, this gun is 302. Damn, I need this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna bump my light up to help me be stronger in said activity. Like. Yep. It's not there. It means nothing. Like it, it you know what I'm saying? So again, they, they just gotta find that balance. That's all I'm saying. Where they still I think my, my, my solution is maybe bring it back for like when Death, I mean when trial what was it uh, Osiris DLC comes out, you know, in the new trials and the new raid and all that. Bump the light up, level up, make power matter again. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully they can kind of rectify it that way. Because like Lord Attic is saying, I mean, you still have regular Crucible. You still have all these other activities, the standard raid. But like the prestige raid challenge mode, that is supposed to be I mean, for let's, a, let's a hardcore not to group. mention that the entire mm -hmm. multiplayer, every multiplayer mode's gone pretty much from Destiny 1, yeah. but like 3. It's like, where's nice. Rift? You know, where's uh, where's Eliminations Rumble? there? Where's Rumble? That's coming. That, that's, that, that stuff up, is baby? coming. That stuff is coming. Um, I don't like the fact that I can make a brand new Titan. I can run inside Iron I just Man don't like the fact that kills. I just yeah. don't like the fact that there's certain aspects from mm -hmm. Destiny 1, which obviously Destiny 1 was like three years long, but like, why am I buying a sequel to downgrade to upgrade? Mm -hmm. Like, that makes no sense to me. So, I mean, being that we understand, you had to switch up on. Look, kid, would you mind me putting you to the front of the congregation? <laughs> no, I have absolutely no problem with it. Um, <laughs> what 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 I did have a problem with is the fact that I left my notes inside the car. <laughs> oh, don't worry, yeah. no worries, dude. So, um, I, I can I can I can uh, I can expound. Yeah, yeah please, help out. please 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 assist. But um, nah, my topic ahead. is uh, Destiny Two being launched on the PC, uh, mm -hmm. and I felt that um, would those people that are playing on console right now, because console, I've noticed that uh, something is going on that the people are walking around aimlessly with really nothing to do. Um, mm. So. Are those people going to jump to PC being that it is a fresh new face and, uh, you know, the the resolution is higher, the, the frame mm -hmm. rates is higher? Uh, are you going to jump into a new space where some people are, you know, new to it and you, it might be a new experience for you? Is, is that one thing? And also, uh, the the MPS, uh, MPDs came out on uh, mm -hmm. Destiny uh, stating that it dropped 50%. Uh, on um, this, game. yeah, fifty percent <laughs> is uh, significant on this verse uh, beige uh, physical copies of the game. Now they didn't say anything about digital copies. Digital copies could be up, for all we know, right? Like it yep. could be going up. And I think in this, in in our new world in video games, where everybody is uh, digitally downloading games and you know putting it to the hard drive, because you really don't want to get up and swap games out anymore. <laughs> I mean, we we have come become very spoiled. So I think are 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 the spoiled ones? Are we taking over now with the physical? You know, and pushing the physical out. Uh, I just want to bring those topics to the round table uh, oh, and see where it goes. I'm gonna tackle the the. I mean, I don't really have a comment on the PC thing, yeah. but uh, I'll I'll talk about the you know, the sales flop, like, I don't necessarily think it's like, quote, unquote, spoiled people. I think it's who buys games like Destiny 2 on launch for the most part, the majority of the of the install base of these games. It's hardcore. Yeah. Who are yeah. the people that know about stuff like digital sharing and who is mainly went to digital, the hardcore. So, you know, I really think that, you know, people people be still thinking that like the digital sales is only like 10, 20 percent of of the the install base. Now, if anything, I would say it's anywhere from 60 to 40 to maybe even 50, 50 these days. I got we see, some numbers. I got some numbers. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> we, see, we, see, we, see, we see publishers mm -hmm. like EA saying that they had a decrease they've they've made three or four reports from saying they've had a decrease in retail mm -hmm. copies but their actual digital revenue has surged through the roof mm -hmm. Sense? well th this is what i this is what i got on it and i'm glad we, we we hit tackling this because um this is this is hot right now michael pactor jumped on this first i believe couple of analysts or uh, financial analysts jumped on yeah now let's get to the hard and fast 
Destiny 2 numbers are down 50% in physical sales. That's that's fact, like, regardless to what. Now, as far as your point, Lord Attic, yes. Digital does make a point. Now, I believe, shout out to my man from Forbes, you know what I'm saying, Paul Tassie. We got to get you on the show. I'm still on you, baby. I'm holding you to your word, <laughs> Lord Tassie from Forbes. So, um, yeah, pretty much what he was saying, investor calls in 2016, like basically, and then compared to now in Activision in 2017, they're saying that the um, the actual digital sale revenue in Destiny 1 was about the high 20%, right? right. They're saying in Destiny 2, digital sales is only the mid 30 percent so that still doesn't account well, for 50 percent drop though oh, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. right now now what he's saying though now let's look at it comparatively timeline destiny one when it dropped xbox 360 ps3 remember those huge. three mm -hmm. huge were part and they said at that time in 2014 they're so close to about 80 million so now they're saying to Lord King's point, what Fortassi is saying, it may the numbers may not be as bad as what everyone's saying from this standpoint. Right now, there's about 65 million PS4s, maybe 30 million. We're gonna say Xbox Ones, and PC Four, also. Man. Right, and and let's say I think PC. That's the biggest uh, thing in this equation is I do think there is a huge streaming community, and they've all waiting for the PC version. Right, and and the key what Tassi is saying is let's not flip out because he's a numbers guy as well. He's saying the PC didn't remember it's a separate launch. It didn't remember they October they're coming out in uh, one or two weeks. Couple so shout days. out to Lost Spot. Yeah. Well, a couple things, right? Shout out to Lost Spot. We're gonna get him on the show because we're gonna have him all over that PC PC launch as well. And I, a couple <coughs> um ILP Twitter guys they've been they've been asking about that because we want to see how this because there's guys that are waiting for the definitive version. We all know uncapped frame rate that whole bit. So but I'm not how, gonna how, excuses, but we got to see. How many percentage do you think of people that actually have the will to wait for that launch? For the PC version, because I That's see a, a lot. Point too. I see a lot of people that were like, "I'm gonna stick to my guns and just wait a month," and they didn't wait a month. And they didn't wait, <laughs> and they bought. Yeah, shout out to they, they bought it like three w. or four days later. Yeah, they, they didn't wait. wait. They get out later, out, boy. You can get out later, out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. See, I wanted to get a little soft feeling on this as well too, with with the numbers coming out. And I know MPD's coming soon, so we're gonna have that to look at too. I mean, in terms of the days. In terms of the PC stuff, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I know there's plenty of people, like, if you're really into Destiny, you, you're one of those people that's, you know, running multiple characters. So if you have a PC to run the, that'll run the game, then you're probably going to be doing the same thing on PC. I, I just don't, I see people playing it across platforms and it doesn't matter because it's just one of those things like you want to get the entire Destiny 2 experience. And if, you, and if you're that invested into it, you're going to play it. So yeah, right. you're going to see people, even if they are playing on the console version, by now they're 305, by now they've done the raid. They're like, okay, I'll go and do it again on PC at 60 frames per second. Like I, I, I see plenty of people that have the ability to do that actually doing that. Um, when it comes to the sales, yeah, it's obvious. Like digital sales are are becoming are at the forefront now. Um, it, it's just it's just the thing. Like, like uh, Lord King said, like we're lazy. We're getting lazy. We're spoiled. Like we want stuff in our hands. We want it right at midnight. I don't want to be standing on the line to pick something up at midnight. I don't want to do any of that stuff. So digital sales, it's obvious that they're going to be, they, they're going to start increasing more and more. And as, as bandwidth for people increases, as people, as more people have access to uh, sort of uncapped bandwidth in terms of downloading stuff, because that's a big problem in the United States. Like there are a lot of places in the middle of the country that have you know they have decent internet, but they're but they're capped at certain things. So you can only if you yes. can only download you know fifty gigs a month, that's a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> mm -hmm. that's that's one game. Like so you know we don't have thankfully don't have that issue here on the East Coast at least thus far. But if that's a real issue. But as soon as that stuff starts rectifying itself, we're gonna see the digital marketplaces are gonna keep increasing and these numbers are gonna keep increasing in terms of digital. So, and I think, yeah, I think the disparity also comes from the fact that there is no last gen version anymore. This So I, right. and I think PC is gonna pick up that slack once mm -hmm. it once it drops. That was my next question. So yeah. like, do how, let me bring this to the, to the table. Like how much do we think PC is really gonna move out here. Like, do we really think it's gonna have that chunk? I, think, I know that it got it's got rave reviews. I know King, you know, you saw it at uh, oh, E3. Oh I think it'll do. I think it'll do what Xbox One does. I don't think it'll come close to PlayStation Four sales. 
No, gotcha. not at all. Not at all. Okay. So, like, it, now again, this is they're going. It's not. It's not doing the cuphead where it's doing the steam, right? It's doing the. It, what is, is it? Just, doing? Uh, just just battle net. net. Battle okay. Net, yeah. Okay. So it's battle net now. Okay. Got it. Got it. That's gonna be interesting, man. This is this is a hot one. <laughs> I, w- I would have loved for them re- to release it on Steam and actually see the numbers that it can really achieve. Because you know these PC elite guys, they are really like hell bent on Steam. Like Steam is a must. Like and <laughs> and if you're not on Steam, you stink. Like and because <laughs> I say I buy stuff from the Microsoft store and they're like <laughs> PC, you're not PC. Get out. <laughs> In their defense. Fits, though that Cuphead Microsoft store was kind of a disaster. Though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was horrible. It was horrible. Microsoft, they, you can't tout your stuff and then it don't be, you know, up to snuff like with the company. Yeah, I heard people shout out to. Uh, I believe Jay Main from All uh, Press Start. I think he had a problem. Like deleted all his save data. Yeah, Cuphead, bro. Woo! God of War was having issues downloading. This, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like my thing is like y'all not popping as it is, so it's like <laughs> you can't dumb. have no mess ups. Like, I just, like I feel like they they, I wouldn't say you know damage, but they slow down the Xbox brand to help the Windows 10 gaming brand, and mm-hmm. it feels like they have like half their foot in the in that in that Windows 10 Facts. half the foot out. And, it's funny you said that. Shout out to, to my boy, Lord Rand and the Xbox 2. Shout out to Jez. Going, happy birthday. Happy born day, Jez. I know it's your birthday. I'm going to talk to you. Get you on the show as well. Happy born day. We like what you're doing out there with man, Lord Rand. HBD. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> HBD. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, like he made a good point. Like Lord Attic is saying, he's saying, like, Microsoft, I believe it's not run by the Xbox guys, but Microsoft guys, but they've got one foot in, one foot out on that store. If you're going to do it, you've got to go all in. This is Jazz calling him out. So you know he's tied, you know what I'm saying? He's got his ear to the ground as far as Windows Central and the street, <laughs> stuff like that. So if he's saying that, and he's like, yo, they should put Mikey Barra in charge of that division. Because Mike oh. is out there on them streets. Mike, Mike, Mike is Mikey had it smoking, boy. Yeah. yeah he's Mikey Barra's in the background be like, please don't. Yeah, yeah, he probably don't want it. He maybe don't want that responsibility. But, I mean, he would be, a, a, a person like him would be a perfect candidate for something like that. And they got to get that. in the pay. We'll we'll see what happens when the PC (laughs) launch. What's the what's the PC launch date? We got to get that out. Is it like October? We got to get that out. Maybe a week or two. I'll get that exactly out there. Yeah, Yeah, we'll see how that affects. I'm picking it up PC though. I got I got a rig that can have that joint smoking. Shout out! Definitely picking it up. Shout out to Lord Victor in the chat. He was like, um, according to Jez, you know, what I'm saying that it's it's a mess because it's run only by the Windows team. So yeah, that that's gonna be yeah. And, and the Windows <laughs> team seems to me to be like your uh, mentally disabled kid that you oh. gotta bring with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, we like know. you know, we <laughs> we go into the park and you know you gotta bring a little hey cat kid with you. Like oh man, <laughs> like, hey, come on man, keep up with us, man. We we. We do it things. Like, the, thing I just, the thing I don't understand <laughs> about that, it's like mm-hmm. I interest maybe the Windows team just isn't adapt to what you know the gaming brand because the the industry is a little bit weird than every other industry. Like mm-hmm. we're very vocal. There's not too many other industries that that is as vocal as we are. You know, I would say a, a good example is like the football industry. Like their fans are more vocal than gaming than gamers. But like it's like. Go to the biggest. Uh, it's like go to the biggest competition on on PC, which is Steam, and it's like there's your goal. Like what? <laughs> like I just don't get how. Like I I see the Windows 10 store now. Like if I load it up now, and it's like it looks like an app off of my phone. Like the store yes. off of my phone. Like it doesn't even look uh. like a gaming library. It's like uh, talking how the only game I see, like in in like you know, point of reach, that I ain't scroll down or click games is Windows Minecraft for Windows Ten and Gwent the the Witch card game. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. all. Like, everything else is movies, NFL on Windows, and you know mm-hmm. Jack Reaper double feature. And I'm just like, look, that's why no one likes your system. <laughs> exactly. You know, help I mean, yourself out. Look how people bad say people having download out. problems after like 20 gigs and you got to re-download the whole thing again. That's what people are saying. Look how bad people flipped out on Microsoft when they did that update and didn't put the My Games and Apps to the right. I mean, seriously. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, if people will flip out over that, 
then you maybe need to sit down and look what needs to be done. <laughs> exactly. Reevaluate. Shout out to Lord King for letting us push that Destiny 2 topic up a notch because it was kind of hot. Yeah, you know man. Saying? But Phil needs to just, you know, push the narrative as, as, as the super boss Phil is. <laughs> and you did have on that steam shirt, buddy. What I say is, you know, I'm, I understand that, you know, you got to be loyal to Windows 10. But let's put the little retarded kid in the corner and let's get that other kid <laughs> over there that's like wow. selling. Let's go get that steam kid. That steam kid is, is he, he's, he's winning these Olympics nah, what here. They need let's to do pull that steam in here, baby. Let's what get they the need steam popping. And stop having the people that don't sell games design the game store for Windows 10. <laughs> Facts. Let's, let's talk about it, right? That's 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 the real. You're right. Absolutely right. Oh, just get down with steam and bend the knee. <laughs> bend the knee. I don't bend think the knee. Be, I don't think that's a. a um, think so? I, I don't think that's a, a possibility. To be honest with you. Mm, let's see. Money, I feel like talks. if Microsoft, if this is Steve well, Ball's like day. Microsoft has approached people like Nintendo in the past, like y'all want to buy your whole company. I highly doubt they ain't talked to Steam. <laughs> well, shout out, shout out to Microsoft and Nintendo playing nice. They got a game out right now. It's going to be yes. cross play, yeah, and I'm loving it. Hopefully, no, Grandpa, let them give them the reins to the online. <laughs> Hold on, weren't there two lawyers that said that would never happen? Oh, did I say that? <laughs> yes, you did, sir. Is that along, along, is along that with the young wolf. Oh, no, 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 Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. Wait, wait, when did this happen? Addict, we're talking about the PlayStation. We're talking about the PlayStation here, bro. Bro. No, 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 we're talking about Xbox. Uh-huh. Switch. Uh -huh. I, I, I need a reference, buddy. I, I, you can't just throw allegations out there about some. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna take that like that. You gotta go to receipts. You gotta get the videotape. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna debunk this. this I mean, you debunk. literally just walked into the police station, said he when killed we someone. We were talking like, about proof. When we were talking about the Minecraft using the Xbox Live servers, and you were right. like, yeah, that's a one in a million time. And I said, I said, it oh, was fantastic. I, I said, it would be no, 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 you no, did. No. Oh, my Lord. Show me oh, where I to, said you know this. We're going to have to bring up the, the Yeah, yeah the play that. Get, get, yeah, get that. Go back. And if, if, if you actually had a vocal, you know, because I don't believe you. So I know, <laughs> but Lord, Lord Cognito can vouch for me because he was no, on my I side. Remember, no, we're not taking that. We're not taking that. I need. I no. I so me and Attic will not be slain in so. this way. When we I said, you, it was, <laughs> "Listen, we were specific." The, the specific yeah. conversation was we were talking about Doom on the Switch. Right? I'm just hearing that. I said, control. and I said it would be fantastic if they yeah. had some sort of cross-play, cross-save feature because that way. That yeah. way, people that have the older game. Devastator. Exactly. Here we go. <laughs> and he know now. Now, now he's remembering. Now it's all coming. No, back. actually, no, actually, <laughs> actually, I'm not remembering. remembering. Actually, I'm not yeah. remembering. I, I, I misremember like, this. I, I don't don't remember all of this. Misremember. I, I, I've it. always <laughs> said they need to sell Xbox Live cards with every Switch. Like I don't yeah. remember me ever right. saying that they would ever to, use that system. When it came to the specific topic of a cross save, cross play thing. Both of you said that'll never happen. Hell no, it'll never happen. I'm gonna have to dig in the crates. Yeah, I, 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 I think you have to. Think you have to get that. I, don't, I, don't I think you're, it. I th I think you're confusing ago. another yeah. topic with another. He's, topic. he's misremembering. You're misremembering. No, we, no, we, no, we, no, we'll get him into it. We got yeah, two more yeah, times down. We're gonna revisit it. Sir, sir, please take your Ging Cobra pills, sir. Please, please. And all that over there having signs of dementia or some shit. I do it. All I know is that when, this I, is preposterous. when I bring the sound bite next week, when I bring the sound bite up, and you realize you're wrong, what you gonna say? What's that? You know, what, what, you, be, what, what you gonna say is I a know. butterfly effect. This this is the Mandela effect. This is so Mandela this is effect. It happened in an alternate universe. This, this, this is what we the Iron Lord takes. We the Iron Lord archives. This is what yeah, Lord Sovereign's gonna say. Um, you know, I revisited. Okay, I wasn't entirely wrong. I know, right? You know, it was aspects of my my article that was factual. Oh, this is fake news. 
That's a fake number. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> we, have, we have two we Donald do. Trumps here. In, 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 <laughs> in, in, <laughs> Lord take, take your CNN ass over there. That's over. <laughs> with the fake news. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to go on with this all day, all day. So, Lord Sub, you are up next. You're going to talk about this triple A loot box situation. <laughs> Part two, the Part two, match, the continuation, the saga. Hit that like, hit that like button as you come in the door. Hit that like button. Please. Facts, yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So my topic this week is mm-hmm. continuing the whole loot crate conversation. There's been so much drama over the past week. Everybody has a different opinion on it, and hopefully we're we're kind of winding down on it, but I don't think so. But there's there was gonna be something more to talk about. But in light of all this drama, right? What do we feel, do the expectations that we have as gamers for AAA games, and that's single-player AAA games, multiplayer-focused AAA games, any sort of AAA game, are the expectations that we have moving forward for what those games are in terms of quality, in terms of graphic quality, in terms of length of game, size of game, is that reasonable to expect moving forward without things like loot crates in place to have them make more money? Mm. Here's the thing. Okay. It, and, 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 and let's look at the possibilities that could replace something like loot crates. Because I personally am not a person that likes loot crates in my games. Unless I'm purchasing them with something like with in-game currency or something like that. And it gives me something cosmetic. Even in a single player game, if it gives me something that makes me stronger. If I'm playing it in my house and I'm not affecting anybody else. If I want to run around and destroy the game and be <laughs> like a god, that's my business. You know, No it, doubt. Facts. Whatever the case may Facts. be. As soon as it affects someone else, and I'm playing with someone else, and it affects that experience, that's a problem. Um, right. So the things, the things that I was looking at, you know, what what can we do to kind of stave this off? Can we accept paying more for ba- for games at a base level? No. We pay we pay less for games now than we ever have. Like, this is no. true. I will true. never. And I games will... cost. But okay, that that's the young person's mentality. That's the young person's mentality. It's not the young person's mentality. I guarantee you, if they increased it to seventy to eighty, they're still gonna do loot crates. Loot crates, (laughs) they'd be a problem. Oh yeah, no question. No question. You know, you know, all that's gonna happen if they do this? Nothing. We just gonna pay more for the initial game and still buy loot crates. That's literally all that's gonna happen. They're making their money back off these developments. They're just being greedy. Mm, that's, really think, okay, so let's get into the whole money thing. Let's right? get into it. Let's get into the money. Let's get to let's, let's follow the money. Let's follow the collection play. So our boy mm-hmm. Jason Schreier, J- Jason Schreier from Kotaku, recently released a book called Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, where he goes in depth into book. development. Yeah, in depth into development of certain games and and controversies that happened therein, like you know the whole Naughty Dog thing with Amy Hennig, things like that. Right. So one of the big questions that even people in the know, like in the, in, in the industry. And in terms of media in the industry that don't really have a good grasp on is budgets for games, mm. specifically how much X game costs to make. Yes. A lot of times the developers and the publishers do not want to divulge that information. So what he's been able to glean over years is that there's kind of a magic base number that you can sort of use uh, to create a, a kind of round roundabout number of, of what it costs. Magic. What pretty much the magic number is, if you hit that number, it's like an automatic reinvestment. That's pretty much what well, that is. But it, it's it's something that you can use to have an idea of how much a game costs to make. It could be above that, it could be below that, but it's a baseline number that gives you a roundabout idea of what it is. So that number is $10,000. That number is $10,000 a month per person working on the game, right? Mm. So let's, let's, take, let's take a game like Shadow of War. Shadow mm. of War by Monolith Productions it's about 100 people in that in that in that development studio so you're talking about 100 people 10,000 a month that's a million dollars a month right you multiply that by a 3 year development cycle that's 36 months so that's 36 million dollars right that doesn't include marketing so let's tag on another 10 million dollars for marketing that's 46 okay. million dollars that they have to make back right if right. they sell let's Okay, so you divide that by sixty dollars, right? It's a base sixty dollar price point, right? And now you're looking at something in the realm of seven hundred and sixty seven thousand copies they have to sell to break even at that price point, right? So right, let's look at that price point. So they have to sell less than a million to make to break even, right? When you look at now 
they're not re they're not receiving that sixty dollars. Sixty dollars is not going back to the developer. Oh, clearly, it's a piece right? of that that's going back to the developer. That's A. B. You have to remember at launch. If you're playing on PC, you're probably getting that game at a twenty percent discount from somewhere. You're always getting yeah, it cheaper the, than you're getting the, the it. You're person, not getting it at fifty nine ninety nine. But the person that you you're buying this from, whether it's CD keys, don't they buy these keys in bulk from the? They buy, from, no, they yeah. don't buy these keys in bulk. Not from not from the publisher. So no. how, how are they getting so many copies then? How are they CD getting copies keys. to sell? CD keys has always been kind of a shady thing because they're getting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they get right, so a huge much you're amount of like, like the majority of PC players don't support the community. He's That's he's all, all I need to Let's continue. <laughs> you savage. You savage. <laughs> you're trying to go in off. I'm not saying they don't continue. support the community, but I'm just saying, like, that number, the number for them to break even keeps exponentially getting bigger because of how these games are sold and how these games are distributed. So, like I said, it's not, it's, it's, it's very easy to say they made their money back in X amount of time. If you look, even if you look at Cuphead, Cuphead sold a million copies in two weeks, in two weeks. This is a $20 game, right? Okay, right. this is two weeks that it took to get there. For a $20 game, there should be an impulse buy for anybody with an Xbox or a PC. Right. It should just be an impulse buy, and it's not. It took two oh, weeks to get marketing. to Poor marketing, to be honest That's true. with you. Cuphead yeah, sold also. through word of mouth and anticipation from the hardcore fan base. You know, so I like I so said because before, it was a good game, so it did yeah, well, through word of mouth. It, it it did because also the streaming YouTube pushed that game heavy. Why do because, you? Think you know, why, the yeah. fact that you was all over the place and everybody it popped up all over. Everybody was streaming this game. Everybody it was everywhere on the internet. But as far as in the streets. The casual people knowing about it, they had to stumble upon it in Microsoft weird store that doesn't yeah. pop up these hot games on your dashboard that should be there like a notification. Have you seen an, a Cuphead commercial? Have you seen one? No. I haven't seen I one. Haven't seen no, right? Not I haven't seen one. one. I have not seen one. Right. Yeah. So it, it's just that thing where it's like <sighs> these games should be selling more. They need to be selling more. And, and, and the fact of the matter is that it's kind of unreasonable for us to say that it's not easy to get to 2 million. Like 2 million right. is, isn't really, it, it's, it's a difficult Unless thing to get Nintendo. to. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. with their tried and true franchises. So the thing is, what else can we do to sort of stave off this loot crate thing? Because why is it on hmm. the consumer? Why can't they just make better games to sell? <laughs> I mean, but why, but why are you assuming it? Why are you assuming it's just because of the game is not of quality? What if a game isn't if a game isn't selling to people people's expectation is because the game was average. Let's be real here. Like nah, bad games is, don't just not sell. Name me a name me a very game, highly critical game that didn't sell well. Good games sometimes Ooh. don't sell. Sometimes that is true too. That is true too. On the flip but, side, I hear your side. See, but, okay, I, I hear but here's your side. the thing. Here's the thing. There's very extreme circumstances when these do happen, and nine times out of ten, it was on the publisher and developer that did it. Like putting Ooh. Tomb Raider on the same day Fallout. Nine out of ten, it was yeah, release was day, and it was their decision that they thought mm -hmm. their name was bigger than someone else's, and they lost. Mm. Shout out to Cycle in the chat. Titan, I mean, so Sunset Overdrive. People saying Titanfall Two. Also, yeah, I want to yeah. make up some points in the chat that people I didn't want to I don't want to overlook because the chat is really lit right now. Thank y'all yeah, for coming. Yeah, the chat through. is going at it. Um, <laughs> yeah, like Brap and I seen Anchorman made a great point as far as they felt they kind of agree with Addict as far as raising the base price. They don't feel would help eliminate you, that I, issue. All that would do is they um, they would do they would do both. They would literally right. do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to be money as well. So so the key then is like okay. We got to get down to the meat of it, right? We're trying to follow the money, right? We're trying, we're trying to get down where the collection plate going as far as this loot crate business, and is it essential for the development of what, the game? What, now, what, what, we're, off. what we're seeing what here is we're not seeing we need to, you know, break even, make more uh, profit. We're seeing, oh, oh, shit. Uh, over that blizzard. <laughs> like, oh, 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 mad oh. money off these loot boxes. Yo, yo, dude, over there. One, two, go over there and make them loot boxes. We need this shit in our game tomorrow. Right. Well, well the thing added in, into your defense, where it, it becoming, the seemingly becoming, I'm going to use sovereign f favorite word, egregious, uh, egregious. <laughs> is when you have a single player game. Like a shadow of war, right? Because <laughs> this is kind of like 
<laughs> uncharted territory in a sense. Now, granted, you know, shout out to um BG people bringing to my attention. I guess Last of Us and Uncharted, maybe they had loot crates. I, I'm not sure. I did, I'm, you guys got to quote me on that. So it's not like it's a new None practice. Of Right, we're seeing a lot of social justice warriors as far as loot boxes. And so the, recent battle, <laughs> the recent battle for it sold so well is because it's, it has that Star Wars name. Take the Star Wars name and just name it Battlefront. Have the same games without the likeness. Let's see how many so let's see how many million right. sells. So so the key down becomes down to back to the main point, which is is this essential to development? Do they absolutely need this revenue? And I'm hearing mixed things. Shout out to Four Guys with Quarters, Clowns. Also want to shout out on um, Matt Piscatella from MPD. When Clowns approached him in reference to that, he, Matt specifically said that this is, he almost inferred that this is not essential to the development, but it's almost additional revenue. You think, so what if they, that's they, the case. They is see what these, just greed because we they, go and they on the boxes. Is they this, see what, what these is? these companies. It, it's just copycatting. They see what these companies are making and they want a piece of that pie. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Try to get their head in the box. Listen, I'm gonna I tell you that. now. If I'm a CEO of a company and loot crazy, if I'm selling you something that physically costs oh, I do the me same nothing, thing, man. I, I'm you guys selling you a want ton me. of it. You guys <laughs> you get a bucket of it. You guys don't want me to have the corporation because I'm sorry. I you know that that bad company thing that people would get EA yeah, all the time. My company <laughs> had that shit all the time. Okay, because I would do anything I could to make money. But and that's the thing. That's, 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 your, that's your reason for being is to make money. But that, that but see, that's me talking from a business standpoint. I'm a ca I'm a consumer. I don't give two shits about that. <laughs> I get you. I get you. so yeah. now. So now 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 we getting into the ethics, Just right? That's the way to make money, and I understand their 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 way of thinking. Don't make it right. Doesn't mean you have to agree with it, right? Now now the thing is now let's bring it back to the ethics down when you let, look at like a, a Star Wars Battlefront too. Is now, there ethics I don't know in business the, really? True. Yeah, really? But I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm talking about as far as pay to win, where the loot boxes now significantly give you a multiplayer advantage <laughs> over someone who does it. Like I don't know this. I don't play Battlefront. I'm not most likely gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking anybody who I'm does buying that game. Game. Official, I'm, you know what I'm saying? If, if oh, there's the a game, I'm, next, I'm buying that and game. I, you know what's funny thing? I'm not even mad at you. And that's the other point I want to say is because I'm seeing this attack mentality on the social streets where if Lord King says he's buying it, you corporate slave and it's they, slander they, and they, it's like, uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to do this. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. And who am I yeah. to tell All that I'm man saying, what to do with his money? So that's another yeah. aspect we got to talk All, about. Yeah, let, let, let me get into that. Let, let me get into that. Because, I, and I'm going to borrow from my man, my man Enrique Brap. I, I'm going to go on a little rant. Let's go. <laughs> Let's solve rant session first. Let's yeah, go. rant special. Let's go. I have a problem with people getting up on their soapboxes mm -hmm. and ascribing the word in integrity to something mm. like to your to what you choose to do Joke and what you one. choose to what you choose to engage with in gaming or not. When you mm. talk about not when you talk about boycotting a game because it has loot boxes and you call yourself having integrity for that, that's a problem to me. That's a, that's a big word you're ascribing to a, a little action. Like you, you, you're not, okay. Just, and, 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 let me finish, hold on a second. Same thing goes for people who say that about people who buy into PSN, Xbox Live. Oh, I have integrity because I don't buy into those, uh, into yeah. those multiplayer paywall things. I have an issue with that because integrity is a big word. When you talk about integrity in video games, talk to me about not che not not cheating in a multiplayer game. <laughs> not cheating at all. No stuff in hands at all. That, that's integrity. Oh, it's just a hip hop that, shot. That, that, yeah, that, that, that's integrity to me. That's integrity to me. When you talk about, if you tell me my game is developed by a bunch of eight year olds in a Burmese sweatshop, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that game. I'm not gonna play that game. That's integrity on my part. Wait, wait, whoa! Like, you <laughs> might not play that game. But is that game? Yeah. Is that Look, game? If it's premium enough, if it's premium enough, if it's a sweatshop, you get it. Yeah. How hard is that game? Is that game Cuphead hot? Yeah, I might, I might just play it, right? Like the, so wait, wait, what if we found out window. that Cuphead was made in the sweatshop, and, and we oh, found out that Microsoft put this. Oh well, I bought it. Oh well. Oh well, I bought it already. Oh well. 
I oh, might buy two. If I find out, if I find out my game, all the proceeds from my game were going to the Church of Satan. Like, oh, I, I'm not gonna buy oh. that game. Like, I'm oh. not gonna buy that game. That's integrity. I'm That's deep buy. though. But so, how good is that game? Exactly. <laughs> hey, are, are we talking so, about like Half Life Three? Like, good? <laughs> hey, so I'm sorry, there's no integrity in video games. I don't care what nobody. Exactly. Says. It's a very, it's a big boy word to describe to very small actions. Like we're talking about video games, yeah, guys. Games and the folks. fact that you rip into other people for the decisions they make. Listen, everybody has a right. These things are going to be here regardless. They're not going anywhere. If you want to speak with your wallet. You want to speak with your wallet? Don't engage with those things that you deem to be exploited. I think just don't do it. To calm eliminating the games. Yeah. I Hold on. Let me just finish the point. I want to finish the point because I'm gonna forget it and then I'll let Ad drop. <laughs> Hold on. Solve rent session. At, Let's go. At, yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, we're Freestyle. all part of the same hypocrisy. We all every argument that we have a make can be looked at from a different angle, and somebody can find BS in it. If you're telling people to boycott games specifically, my my feeling is you're not a real gamer. Yep. You're not a mm. real gamer. Yep. So my feeling is because you're not you're not looking at the health of the hobby as a whole. You don't love gaming. You love to play games, but you don't love gaming as a whole because you don't care what happens to it moving forward. There's certain yep. things. There's certain practices. Yeah, that you should speak with your with your wallet and not engage in. That does not mean boycotting an entire game because you don't mm. want you don't want an entire studio to fall you don't want mm, that no doubt no doubt so let, let, let's be real here let's be real here. if you're a fan of gaming if you're a gamer and that is your hobby you never want anyone to fail so don't go yes. get up on your soapbox you're not the person i want on the soapbox telling me listen man don't, nah, don't play I, this game i, I, I don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that you. i'm a gamer and i want platinum to fail <laughs> Why Why? Platinum guys? Why? Why? Because they give you bad games. <laughs> because you don't like Bayonetta. Like, <laughs> look, listen, I'm not listening to Addict. But like you said, you should look at it at a different perspective. Because where Addict sees a problem, I, I like Transformers. I'm sorry. I, I'm guilty of this. I, I really have to tell you, I don't care who's making the game. I don't care where the proceeds is going. Is the game hot? <laughs> Is the game hot? <laughs> That's it. It's like a chick, yo. Is she hot? I don't care what she does. Is it? Is it? But, is but she look, hot? Jane, right now on the Twitter suites, they're gonna be like, "You are a corporate yo, slave." Yo, I, I, they yo, gonna I got a, you. I got a CS tattoo, so how can he bother me? I walk around with well, look, look at this I really come, don't hit him though. Look at this come on, dude. Like, it, it, it's funny, you know. First of all, let me go on. Let me say something, okay? Get that people right out. in the comment section that are coming at me over my platinum. Because I know you guys, <laughs> besides um, Bayonetta, you know, the franchise, besides that, besides Near Automatum, mm. and, you know, maybe one or two other games. Countless other games. One good game. Ooh, Lord, Chief Tommy shit. came for our neck. One know? good game, five shit games. One good game, five shit games. That's not acceptable to me. <laughs> they gotta Lord say Chief busy, Tommy, I, gotta, I gotta come for you because I love you, bro. Like you, you're a huge fan. I, I gotta point this because you said, listen, your purchase affects me. So our <laughs> purchase affects you. I have every right to point out what you're doing isn't helping games <laughs> deal with it. I just want to know how the purchase of another man's product affects you personally. If you have an issue with it and you choose not to support, no doubt. I respect that. I he don't want you to support. He I want you to I, stand that's my confusion with this, Lord Chief Tommy. And I love you. I'm not just want to add if you can I, I, rebut I would, that. I want the, the company chat. not to die to make good games, Lord Kabatu. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me off topic. Can we please back yeah. get on back on topic? Let's get back on. Let's get back on. Let's get back on. Yeah. Bottom line is this, man. It, <laughs> any type of any type of developer going away is not good, especially in the AAA space. It's not good, right. except for so, Platinum. <laughs> except for Platinum, I guess. Just don't yeah. don't engage with these practices you don't like. I don't like loot crates. I'm not gonna engage with them. But I'm not gonna pay for one ever. I'm buying the game though. I'm buying the game. <laughs> Yeah, it's just buying the game. Like, it, Yo, it, and I'm it, not gonna it, lie though, I might get a loot crate. See, listen, this this goes into my little <laughs> cell phone thing. I'm telling you, I'll be playing these little cell phone games, and it, I I have one move, and I can beat this boss. All I need to do is buy this coin so I can get extra time. Yeah, I might spend that dollar. You might get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it depends on how I feel at the moment. I'm shallow. 
Okay, I play so, games. So what? What about when it affects um? You know, like like I said, give you the competitive advantage or like I don't I said, care. Said, yeah, I will do that. that. Like, yeah, if I want to destroy you, if I want to destroy you, I'm gonna buy a mad little hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, this is kind of the same topic. This is a good question. What's worse, good. amiibos or loot? <laughs> <rap record. laughs> yo, 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 listen, Brad. I'm telling you right Can now. Can I have man. amiibos for five hundred, please? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, these dudes that are upset they can't afford these amoe- amiibos or find them. That's the business. Again, uh, I was in these streets uh, early. Uh, I, I, I paid them with consumer logic. But, hey, listen, it, but has it given you any sort of competitive va- yes. advantage? In like, yes. like it's walking difficulties or anything. behind an amiibo? I mean, yes, like I said. You can run around. You can run around that single player game and be God if you want because of so it's okay to lock, it's okay to lock amiibos to lock see uh, to lock multi not multi. Don't well, well, Metroid, 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 Metroid Lord Addict's point. Metroid did lock an entire mode behind an, an amiibo. Mode Lord, Lord, behind Lord, an Lord, amiibo. Listen, Lord Cognito, mm. did you buy that game, <laughs> Addict? Did you buy the game? I brought the game. And so I brought the amiibos. I got everything. I got 100%. Out of so the, the, if they don't want 100% out of the game, then don't buy the amiibos. <laughs> buy the amiibos and you get a lot of special Shout out to the money He said amiibos are at least physical and that resale value is serious. Yeah. So into Lord it's King's point, he can Thank get you. something out if he sells it. I put it on eBay. I made it out of it. They can sell it for 1000 They still did it. So what? <laughs> you on it. You on it. Amiibos in these streets. Amiibo life. I mean, you know... Uh, uh, we it. all know that Lord D need that extra, the extra, That's right. extra to win those Nintendo games, but that doesn't Amiibos mean they need life. to lock shit. Amiibos is life, so <laughs> listen. Let's get back on track. I feel what y'all saying. I mean, I, I'm with Sov on his rant. First ever rant. Salute you, Lord. So it's uh, um, yeah. I think that, like I said, at the end of the day, we see what's happening in these streets. This is where the industry is going. Like it or not, you know what I mean? We have the whole adage: vote for your wallet. I hear it. I get it. The only thing I'm warning these <laughs> social justice warriors online is just, okay, you have to respect someone else's time, someone else's money. What they choose to do with their money in the privacy of their own house is their business. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you can stand against it. There's nothing wrong with it. You can boycott. There's nothing wrong with it. I just want us to be careful of the personal attacks I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of personal attacks. I'm seeing people being disrespected personally as a man because they bought a game <laughs> that has loot boxes in it. Like, that's crazy to that me. That is Look, ridiculous. To that's me. crazy to me. Like, if that, let's say, let, I'm going to use this example. I'm going to give it to you, Addict. If that person was waiting for Shadow of War his entire life, and that's his <laughs> Right, and and he works nine to five. Why are you watching another man's pocket? Right, yeah. that's me. I should watch him. to do. <laughs> should look at it. Look, you know what I'm saying? Do what he wants to do. In case anyone in the comments, in case anyone in the, the, com- yeah. yeah, the comments section aren't know what we're talking about, shout out to Lord Blackbond. Continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you got to shout out to Damon Dash, man, because he put this out there a long time ago. That's not being a man. Stop looking at my coins. Don't look at that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm saying. I just want us to be careful of it. With this practices we don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Psycho. I love you, bro. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. I like what y'all doing over there playing the Xbox. Um, yeah, so it's just like it's one Psycho. of those things. Yeah, it's one of those things like it's just like, yo, you know what I mean? Like just respect that man's purchase, what he wants to do. And we respect you for not wanting to do it. If you want to make a petition and if it's something you feel is so egregious and you want to shut it down, there has been cases like Forza, right? Where the community was upset. They didn't like with the VIP system. They went and turned, turned, changed it around. So it, there is options where the change can happen. Just and be careful of the attacks. That's all I'm saying, person. You know what I say, right? I, I, I don't I get, care. I get people, you know, I'm never going to tell you to boycott a game. I don't care if you do. I don't care if you come at me for my purchase. I'm going to tell you to uh, to go somewhere. I don't care. I would say something else, but, you know, I'm on a <laughs> PC show, so I can't. <laughs> but, uh, kick rocks. Respect, kick rocks. respect the little lord. We'll say kick rocks. So we'll say kick rocks. But what it, what, what it comes down to <laughs> You don't like kick rocks? <laughs> when it comes down to it, the best way it, you can, you, I don't even, I don't, I don't even think voting for wallets enough these days. Because there's too many ignorant people that don't know what's going on that's going to buy it anyway. So you're well, I will one say this. to I will buy say 100. 
that, that uh, don't you're right. Them. They are the minority, and the, it's right. really the casuals who are falling for it, right? The casuals yeah, the, that are going to, those are the masses. It's the, the way that you, right? The then way it's that it's going to affect you. The way yeah. that you combat this is, as you know, most hardcore gamers, that's the people that's going to, you know, speak. Casuals aren't really going to take a stand unless they Frank convinces them into doing something that they don't really comprehend or understand. But a lot of hardcore people, you know, they, they, they follow a lot when it comes to the gaming industry. So they're more up to date with something like this. The best way, this is the reason the PC gamers get what they want all the time is you got to be very vocal. Like, what's more effective? You not pur purchasing one game for sixty dollars, or the community manager for EA gets on right. Twitter and comes up to ten thousand notifications. Now you're talking. Mad. See, that's how you affect change. Like, you've got to go to these community managers. Managers, you've got to go to that what you call it's Reddit. You know what I'm saying? That titles Reddit, like I said, for example, like a Destiny mm -hmm. or whatever. So you've got to get in there, and that's when it actually has more of a positive effect. But when you're out here attacking these dudes, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> for buying a game that they like or an amiibo or whatever the hell it is, and you call and you can't you can't with a double standard, like like Lawsoff said, people out here, you know, attacking people for one thing, yet they buy an Xbox Live and they do it. You can't have it both ways. And even that, and even and even that, like if you think about it, okay, if you're not buying into Xbox Live or PSN, and you're not doing the loot crate stuff or whatnot, so that means the assumption is that means you're a PC gamer, right? So if you're a PC right. gamer, and if you're a PC gamer, then if you're buying through Steam, you're contributing to the biggest monopoly in digital distribution in all of exactly. gaming, right? Right? Exactly. Let's so get real soapboxy. So if and yeah. if you don't go through Steam, let's say you go through Green Man Gaming, well, you're you're buying a game at a at a twenty percent, fifty percent discount at launch, mm -hmm. which nobody mm -hmm. else has. Like it's mm -hmm. again every point that every point that you have, if you look at it from a different perspective, you're full of it. So it, every, <laughs> it's just what it is. Like we're all Stop part of the problem. He said, uh, "You got to do both. Hold that money hostage and make them brutally aware of the reason why." Let's be real here. You know, certain <laughs> games that might be effective. But the games that they're doing this, the games that people are talking about, the games that are getting all the momentum on the internet, they're not going to care about maybe a couple thousand people not buying their games. Look at Star Wars. It sold like what? Like 15 million units, Star Wars Battlefront? I, 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 just well, I think Anchorman has a point, though, in the sense that we're talking to them, but not everybody, everyone's still buying the game. I think the, the issue comes down to, for the people who are anti loot crate and saying it's gambling and stuff like that, then... <laughs> they gotta figure out a way to no, handle no, no, people. No, no, that's no, what no. it is right now. They the brought it to Peggy, to them, Lord King, and they was like, "Yo, we want to ban this practice." Well, and that the Peggy, ESRB was, and them uh, was like, "No, we're not taking it out." Now that could be a result of them sleeping in bed with the game developer. <laughs> 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 that could be oh another story. Yeah, because you know now, cause now uh, game, gaming has to raise your children for you now. Here's the here's, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it. A developer is going to be more scared of you, um, of you bashing his game on Twitter and saying you don't like this. You know, uh, really, you know, ha do the hashtag and everything. Then he's going to be scared of you not buying his game because the public outrage can really matter. You can destroy a game if enough people bash on a game because of something they don't like before the game even comes out. It's like giving you a bad review. If like, how many times are you gonna buy something if it has like three stars? Then you're gonna look at this the, the star rating. And you're gonna look at the people that had a problem with it. And then you're gonna walk away from it. If it's just one person who says, "Oh no, I had a very bad experience with it because of X, Y, and Z." Nine times out of ten, you won't buy that product, and then you will click that this 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 review was helpful, and you'll move on to the next, and you will go to that five star product that didn't have the negative review. So understand exactly where Attic is coming from, yeah. and also understand where Sovereign is coming from. But but we have to understand this, guys. And I mean, it's getting way out of control, you know, with people giving people personal attacks of um because of big companies. Um, voice your opinion in the forums that will allow you to be heard. That's mm -hmm. it. Simple. Um, if you're voicing your opinion towards somebody who's made a purchase of a game and you're trying to belittle somebody for their purchase, I believe that's shame on you. And I don't see integrity mm -hmm. in that. 
So, Facts. um, what they need to do is they need to uh, get to the posts, get to the blogs, get to the the avenues that allow them to be heard. You're not being heard screaming at Tommy who purchased this game. I'm sorry. So I don't mm-hmm. like. I don't care. I walk around with earmuffs. I'm buying my amiibos. I'm buying <laughs> whatever the hell I want to buy. And I Just really don't give a Satan damn. Game, you know? That's right. Hey, listen, I don't care if the game is hot. I'm shallow as hell. If the game is hot, I'm buying it, and I don't care. And I don't care who stands. I will walk across the picket line and go get a game in front of you. I will, I will, I will put my money down. And you could be sitting there saying they got bad business no, no, practices. No, 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 G, they got G, little G, kids G. doing these, and I don't care. The game is hot. Lord it's David. my money. Lord David, take you this scenario. You know, little David. You know, he just. He just got out of his vehicle walking up. He sees a big ass line going around like Best Buy. I just imagine you go to Best Buy for some reason. So he comes up to him. He's like, What's going on? We're boycotting Shadow Wars. He's like, You got to get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen, listen. I will walk right in front of the purchase him and say, Shout out to you. I will support you guys after I finish the game. God bless. <laughs> I'm I'm he'll, be, he'll be walking. He'll, he'll be he'll, the, everyone's Ugh. looking at him and, you know, he's getting in his car. He's like, I'll be back for Battlefront next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 before we let's before we move left, then we go into glove with this joy. It's one last point I want to aspect to bring it to the Lord's in reference to Luke Case and to finish this thing up. What about the whole aspect with the gambling? I'm seeing a lot of stuff now. People saying that this is affecting kids. You know that. You know. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, Lord King. I know you don't agree with it. Oh, just, God. People are saying. <laughs> They, 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 they went to the SRB and these guys and they're saying, hey, can we get these loot boxes completely out? You know, my kids are affected. This is the basically they're saying that to the letter of the law, loot Who boxes. Who's these rats? Arm- Who's these rats? <laughs> these Who are RNG snitches? system. They say that it's an RNG system that to the letter of the law is gambling. Right? We need to so they- single these people out and get them out of the community. Who are these people? <laughs> I'm tired of these people. Like, 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 listen, 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 listen. I, I'm tired of this topic about it. Because this is really, this is not important. You know what the funny thing not is? Not like, important at all. You know what what the, you got to do is stop thinking video games is going to raise your kids. Don't, don't get them then. You know, just stop you, it. You know what the funny Ooh. thing is? Is <laughs> like, not, they'll be saying this. Oh, it, it hurts my kids about an R, about an M rated game. I'm like, you're, you're hopeless. Just go, <laughs> go somewhere. <laughs> My kid is going to be a de- degenerate yeah, gambler so. because of Shadow of War. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Go away. <laughs> Watch your kids. Watch, so, so, your kids. Okay, okay, so. Watch your kids. Make sure that you don't have any auto pay sort of stuff on your system where they crack open the loot crate and they, it, it immediately allows them to purchase something and keep right. away. They thing called parental control. Exactly. Yeah. And, and make sure that doesn't happen. But it, it teaches them gambling. I, I mean, mean, these kids, come on, man. Look, I, like, I, will, I will say that, you know, it's a stretch to say that it's gambling. But I will say I understand where the, you I understand know, they're trying to put yeah. them together. Right. Now, because my thing is, what what about what do you say to the people who say, like, you know, I didn't know little Jimmy was on the Xbox and he bought, you know, yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah, well, that's your business. Then you need to smack your kid for spending ten thousand dollars. So the Lord, the Lord, like they'll, they'll, it's come down to better parenting. You You need to watch your kid. I mean, I don't disagree that loot boxes at their core, especially the pay ones, are do kind of scratch that itch for people that have that sort of addictive mentality where they like to just have more and more and more and more. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. At the same time, it's not their problem that you leave your kids alone with that sort of stuff. You need to watch your kids. What type of parent puts their credit card on the kids' Xbox and let them run around on it? On their profile and lets them rock out. Like you, on you, bro. <laughs> you just Shout out to Lord B. Money. He says his son is 104 Rainbow Six, hasn't spent an extra penny on all the characters. You know what I'm saying? All right, Lord Lord Chief Thomas, is that what I spent? He was like that, uh, stop laughing. What's wrong with you? Do you not understand that there's only two differences? Winnings can't be exchanged for real currency. Currency, one always wins something. So Lord Chief Tommy, he's really, he's really on the show. <laughs> really you know what I'm saying? Like this whole loot box thing. Yo, Tommy, and- I'm going to buy loot crates. So I'm going to buy and I'm not going to care if you sit there and say, mm-hmm, don't do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I can't stop it. I'm shallow. <laughs> Yo, all I would say, Lord Tommy, in, in your defense, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, so I'll let you finish. I don't want to attack. 
No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no I just want to say that. I, I, I respect his opinion. I, I do understand his the opinion. sentiment. Yeah. I just want to be very clear with the sentiment. And I want to be very clear as far as what I consider habitual line stepping. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where companies every night they keep pushing, they keep pushing, oh, and I'm gonna lose the topic. Mind, but they are definitely they're out of their boundaries. Like just because you know I ain't gonna boycott or could go at people for boycotting, I ain't condoning none of this nonsense. Exactly, that's all I say. Like, <laughs> yeah. like we, we understand what's going on here. We're not trying exactly. to minimize that either. That's all I'm trying and to you, say for you. And you speak to a lot by not money, engaging bro. in that stuff. Exactly, the stuff is there. Ignore it. Right. Exactly. Well, Nobody gotta make money. They gotta make money. I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm sorry. The company has to make money. They put mm -hmm. it there. If you want to pick it up, it's on you. They told you, yeah. it's available if you want to. And if one person gets it and he gets the advantage, shame on him. No, yeah. applaud I... that man for having extra bucks and the know how. <laughs> I'm <to> done. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> And on that note, we got to move on because we beat beating Luke Box to death. <laughs> well, shout out to the chat, man. Shout yeah. out to everybody with their opinions. This is a hot one right now. Appreciate all the feedback. Even when you don't agree with the Lords, we, we respect that, man. We really yeah, do appreciate respect that. But you I'm still going to buy it. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> so, moving on, Lord Addict. Some, uh, some bundles out here being announced in these streets. What's going on with these bundles? Um, are we we're calling the bundles right like we are calling <laughs> the bundles. all right just making yes. sure so let's yes, go yes. in with these bundles let, let, let mm -hmm. me uh let me go to this mm -hmm. give me two seconds you guys go i want to screenshot it mm -hmm. <laughs> which one is it it's this one i know which one it is. <laughs> shout out to lord anthony <laughs> come on in the jet he already going in he said all oh, those bundles are horrendous <laughs> 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 the worst bundles ever. Oh, uh, <laughs> can you uh, can you click on it, uh, B? All right, one second. I'm already seeing where you at. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, bro. Yeah, you have to share it to everybody. Yeah. But uh, all right, so we're gonna be talking about these four magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up, bring it up. There you go, there you go. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So, I agree with the first one. Well, let's for, let's 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 break it down, okay? We got we got four new bundles that have been announced, okay? We got the 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 one and done Halo Five in the Master Chief Collection. Then we got the three months. Is that three months ago to three months of Xbox Live Pass? Okay, so we got that. Then we got Rocket League. Like, let me repeat that. We got Rocket League. Oh. All right. Then we got oh. Minecraft, which I understand the Minecraft, but I kind of don't understand the Minecraft because the last time I checked, we already had a Minecraft bundle. It was a custom bundle right. that they messed up on a right and price wrong. But oh. I, I digress. But so let's let talk about the Halo one. Do you guys agree with the Halo bundle? Yes. Yes. I mean, Halo's big. Yeah. Still, you know, it's their mascot. The next. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's their, it's their, it's their baby. And I'm actually just to, before you move on to the next bundle, I'm actually impressed that they even acknowledge Master Chief Collection exists based on yep. the history. Yep. So I yep. thought that was kind of cool. But that's me. Continue. Yep. All right. So then we got the games with gold and uh, uh, Game Pass. I agree with this one. I completely agree with. This I don't one. agree with that because I okay. One thing that three months crap. It should be a year. Yeah, yeah. it's Ooh. never gonna be a year. That's should be yeah, it's never that's gonna be a year. And, and don't buy it. It's never gonna be a year, and don't buy it. It's unrealistic to think they're gonna put a year of this in there. <laughs> oh, people, money said, "How many years they gonna try to sell that Halo button?" <laughs> I'm done. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony agrees with Lord right, King. It, it should be a year. Anyone yeah. else besides? You know, Lord Unreasonable, have anything to say about the Lord Unreasonable? Thank you, Sleep. The Lord of Sleep has found me as the Lord. Lord Chief, tell you're not a nobody. We want your feedback, baby. Nah, yo, you're not a nobody, Lord Chief Tommy. No, man. Like, I really look forward to you every Sunday. I'm not going to lie. 100. Look, so you got oh, people man. in our chat feeling all sorts of way, Lord King. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what we're here for. This is what we're here for. It's all love, yo, man. 
Chief Tommy, mm-hmm. Chief Tommy, I'm shallow, bro. <laughs> I'm shallow. I will agree with, with the, uh, uh, Lord Fastback in the comment section. I think six months would be a little bit more reasonable. I think three months yeah. is. Uh, I think six would be good, but uh, okay. There's no way a year would be in it. One year, maybe a year of gold and three months of Xbox Game Pass would be something. But I, right. I think all of these are three ninety nine, correct? Okay. These are all four hundred dollar bundles. Yeah, they needs to be six months. Oh no, no, I think they're two ninety nine. My bad, two ninety nine. Yeah, what's the vote? What's the Lord's consensus? Individual vote for the for that bundle. What do we feel? Yay, nay. Well, I, it is. A, con- is it present constitution? Nay. Nay. Yeah. Okay. Nay. No, okay. Uh, I say nay. Someone in the okay. comment section said it's two seventy nine. Good. Mm-hmm. Make All it two ninety nine right. and make it a year. Anyway, next. Yeah, it's two seven. It's two seventy nine. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like yeah. It's so, okay. Then and we have the one that I literally don't understand. <laughs> Who? What do the lowers think of uh, of Xbox Super Nay? Super Nay. Rocket okay. League. Super Nay. I I can tell you what happened there. I'm gonna tell you what happened in that Rocket League thing. Somebody slept with somebody to get their bundle included in this. <laughs> 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 that, that, Somebody, that, that serious allegation. Do you got it, some? Uh, do you got some receipts to prove that? No, yeah, I don't. Was, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just throwing out speculation. But if we <laughs> dig hard enough, I'm pretty sure that somebody did some backroom dealings, and yeah. somebody slept with somebody to get their rocket will agree with Lord, I will agree with Lord King. It, it seems a bit weird because Rocket League doesn't. Have Rocket League. I, I just don't understand. That's just me personally. I don't. I don't get that one. So that this one's a name for me. Los off. Yeah, it's definitely a name for me. I mean, I think maybe I don't know what the sales numbers are for Rocket League on Xbox One, but I mean, Rocket League was big when it first launched because it was on PS Plus and it came out and everybody had it. Um, and then it so continued to sell well on PlayStation that and is, and that. PC. So I I can see it not selling well on I, Xbox and trying to I get do. it into more homes. Well, uh, well, B Money just made a point. Yeah, I don't know if it's made true. A good point. He, he made a yeah, good point. It, yeah, he said Rocket League is promote purely for Nintendo crossplay that will be promoted heavy. Sure. So is it official now with the Rocket League yeah, being cross Yeah, it's official that they are going to be doing crossplay. Okay, so that's a fi- But okay, I feel like, okay, I feel like, mm. all right, um, replace that Rocket League with Cuphead. Yeah, Cuphead. Put bro. Rocket yeah, League. Why is Cuphead not there? Yeah. Put Rocket League with Game Pass. Yep. Mm. Yep. And completely take that Minecraft bundle off because they already have a Minecraft bundle. It's not my fault. You priced like hundred dollars more than it should have been. Yeah. And it. replace that with Lucky Tales. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. Not Lucky Tales because Lucky Tales is mainly for the Xbox One X. Hey, did you see it running on regular Xbox? Yo. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a premium it's look. It's not a premium situation. Yo, listen, it was having a hard time running on an X because remember that game was a VR game and the, the it is uh heavy in the CPU offload. And being that the CPU is only a uh, upgrade, it's not even a, what is it, a boost is overclock. It's an overclock CPU. Um the it is is really heavy. I know y'all look at it as a simplistic game. You no, know, the VR experience to that game puts it as a, a higher CPU offload. It's, it's not really, you know, beneficial for the regular Xbox at all. Shout out Vote. to uh, Lord uh, Lord Jazz. Jazz in the uh, building. PX for some Xbox, reason, I see, he changed his stuff to grind my gears. I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> we know it's you, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think you've had my no, enti- I think you've had my entire panel from P- uh, Planet Xbox in here, but Ken. <laughs> that's so cycle, Ken. Yo, that's what's up, Rakenio. Rakenio, Rakenio, lit out here, man. Rakenio, you gotta listen to this from the beginning. Uh, <laughs> box- classic, classic material. Box in heaven. Box in heaven, no bro. We talked about five heaven. minutes of absolutely nothing, Rakenio. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. I was allowing you to go get your Red Bull or your Five Hour Energy and your coffee, and you can wake up, Captain Sleeper. So it, it, feels nice, it, feels, it feels nice to be considered, Lord. <laughs> I I'm, Let's yeah. finish these bundles out, Lords. Let's finish these bundles out. All right, so well, Minecraft. The vote. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, yay nay. 
Oh, Rock League name. Minecraft, I'm going to say yay. I think. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna sell. It's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. That's their They've baby. They've been pushing this crap on everybody forever. Yo, yep. listen, that that custom system. Yeah, that's great. Now, if you would have priced the custom system with the Minecraft, you could put that as that bundle. That yeah, would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? Okay, good. Push that out there. That is. That shouldn't even be a thing. Like that shouldn't yeah. be a thing. It's two of those bundles is doing their own thing, and two of those <laughs> bundles is not the same. They should not be in there, right? Like, like. Cuphead should be there, and mm -hmm. like Lord Attic said, that uh, Rocket League should be in Game Pass. Get it out of here. Like, oh, uh, mm -hmm. they was just feeling I'm telling you, when you look at the videotape, you're going to notice somebody did some button with somebody to get their <laughs> bundle in there. Put you my bundle in there. Uh, Xbox. Hold on. Continue talking. I'm going to look up other, other bundles that's been mm -hmm. out this year. Well, I'm going to tell right now, like, like I said, I think, I know where you're going with that. Lord King with the, with the Minecraft joint. My thing is, where, where's the fours of that? Like, yes, where's, where's fours? Fours? This is your but baby. Black Friday, mm -hmm. it's coming. Black Friday, Black Friday is gonna. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get the the real bundles. Mm -hmm. Those bundles yeah, that you true. know you go and pick, they have, pick your they game. Shadow of War bundles also. It is a yes. Shadow of War bundle, right? Yes, they do. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. yeah right. I mean, that's pretty much that's it. I, I, I agree with Lord like overall. You know, just to for, put a cherry on it, these are kind of underwhelming to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, it for was, the most it part, was head scratching. Yeah, very head scratching. The Rocket League, I don't know what's going on there. Like, I, I can't call that one. Minecraft to me was expected. Halo was kind of expected. They're gonna ride that train, you know, until the wheels fall off. That I, I kind of expected. I was actually surprised they they mentioned Master Chief, and I'm curious to see if Master Chief Collection has any fixes <laughs> by the time the bundle come out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I I I feel Forza was a missed opportunity. You know, hopefully with Black Friday, Cuphead can be included. Cuphead needs to be out here. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's this is it. This is their win. Like we call remember early that the Lords we called 2017 the year yeah. of the L. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is their win. Yep. This cuphead. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is critically acclaimed. They got a fire beat. It. They need to ride that beat. Let's go. Yeah, man. Let's go. You you got to promote these guys. I see Phil out there retweeting MHDR Studios and stuff like that. The game's Why critically acclaimed. Why is he retweeting acclaimed. it and not buying them? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the financial situation. I don't know how these that out there get those dudes. Yeah, we got to see. I mean, but Microsoft does control it, right? They control the entity. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out to Brap. There's another thing. PUBG. What's up yeah. with that? That You know what I'm saying? Like, that's another missed opportunity. Well, you know what, what, we, what we want with PUBG is we want the official release of the game. So when the game officially is released, instead of going to that yeah. preview crappy program, <laughs> yo. Oh my God. I don't think they would they would put a preview program game in a bundle. I don't think exactly. They would. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, no, you're know. right. So you're they right. waited for the go ahead because they gave it the weird extra long name now. So the game is going to be released. <laughs> I don't think so. But... <laughs> <laughs> Wish <you're thinking. laughs> no doubt, Lord, Lord Attic, you're back. I see you. You're back. Yeah, you little yeah, drop. I had no clue what was going on there. Right, yeah, cool. yeah, your joint went quiet for a minute, right? Well, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. Okay, I don't need to share this anymore. And I'm like, why isn't it all letting me stop sharing this? And I was like, and then I looked at like the feed for the live feed. Yeah. I was like, why is my icon gone? Like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. gone, but I'm not there. <laughs> it's okay. We got it straight. But that's what what you got to finish up on the um, what you call it, the uh, bundle topic, Lord Attic. Before you move on, so you move on to that's pretty much all. Like, right, no doubt, that's all. <laughs> like, there's so now we got. Lord Cognito's topic, <laughs> <laughs> which I've been waiting for, jumping at the bit. So, as we know, our Lord and Savior, Xbox only begotten son, Phil, Phil Spencer. <laughs> oh, man. He actually put out a statement, and uh, this is in reference to the Xbox One X. And he said the Xbox One X is not for everyone. He said the Xbox One S will be the market leader for us and it's the more affordable console. So just again, this is obviously we know on the leave on the eve of the Xbox One launch, we X launch, we know it's coming. We gotta, you know, one more month, everyone's getting hype. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um he made this comment at a Brazil game show, you know what I'm saying? And for all in purposes, you know, intent purposes, this is correct. We know that the Xbox One X is, you know what I'm saying, kind of considered almost the elite controller of the system, so to speak, right? He made that comparison, you know what I'm saying? Now, the question I want to bring to the Lord is, one, do we think this is a mistake by him saying these kind of comments? Two, 
do we think Microsoft is underestimating the whole demand of the Xbox One X, which is going to lead into my next point, which is about the Xbox One X stock. I think then, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to you right now. Give me one second. I'm going to finish this last one, which is right now a lot of you, again, let's, for clarity, this is UK retailers, right? Are putting out that their stock for the Xbox One X is a fraction of what they originally thought they would get from you know as far as retail is concerned you know some thought they were going to get you know hundreds of units as they requested based on demand you know what i'm saying again this is not pre-orders pre-orders are fine but we're talking about walking in retail that day of right people that are not us and going to try to pick one up people these retailers are saying in the uk that hey they, they requested like 100 based on demand they got five units. <laughs> so my question to the Lord, based on Phil's comments, based on supposed Xbox One X stock issues, is this going to be a problem the way Microsoft is handling this? The I yours. think what Phil Spencer and what the Microsoft brand's doing and what corporate's doing is, let's be real, I think they're trying to, uh, you know, for the most part, I wouldn't say unfairly, but you know, besides 2017, I won't wouldn't really say they've been attacked by the media, but you know, they've had every negative thing they've ever had highlighted by the media, like excessively. So I feel like they're trying to be like, yo, like, you know, just in case if we don't do numbers like we think, and let's let's mm -hmm. try to downplay it that way people are just surprised and not disappointed. Mm -hmm. Now now here's my question to you. Like. In that case, we know the pre-order sold out and there's tremendous demand, right? You know what I'm saying? But do you think they may be making a mistake? What if there's people that go to a store in November, right? They had their intention to pick up an Xbox One X. It is not available if they didn't pre-order. Don't do you not think this has a negative effect as far as the competition? And we all know what the competition is mm -hmm. <laughs> in November. <laughs> <laughs> this ties into bending knee segments. <laughs> Do we I mean, regardless this of this, is there's uh, they're gonna win November just off pre orders. Mm, okay, okay, Lord King, I need you on this. Yeah, I was waiting for everybody to flush out their ideas. <laughs> I think oh, okay. this, All right, so my dad, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm coming in right now. <laughs> hey, Phil, you're a genius, bro. <laughs> Yo, Phil, yo, Phil, I believe in your vision. And when you said it, when you told them, hey, you know, it's not for everyone. We do have a bundle. It, it could sound a little Don Matrix, you know, type of thing. But it's not. It's not. It's Phil mm -hmm. style. And let me tell you what Phil did. Phil just elevated it to a place where, oh, I want to be part of that crowd place. All right? Mm -hmm. So you have lead, You have put it in a space where if, if, ever, if somebody ever came over to your house and you had a lead controller and you passed them your controller and they've never touched it, they was like, whoa, what's this? Microsoft makes this? This is, yeah, that's a lead controller. Oh, how much is it? 150 That guy left your house thinking about how he can get this 150 to go get that controller because... No, that guy you left your house and like, I'm cool with the one they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I mean, that might work for you, but it doesn't work for all. And thank God you're not the majority. Look, 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 but, look, um, look King Dave uh, thinking back, the majority back, bought the you know, controller. I, I sat back and I allowed you to talk. The go back majority to bought the controller. Go back <laughs> to but sleep. don't be throwing out, don't put, be throwing put, out buzz put like your, that. Put your out. blanket over your head and go to sleep. Hey, now, don't be saying that, man, because I'm liable to take you up on that. I know, I know, I know. You got the cake to sleep. Now, anyway, back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the sleep <laughs> Um, I, I like what he did. Um, And also, he knows that they're going to make an artificial shortage. All right? Uh, it's work for Nintendo to such a degree that if they can produce an artificial uh, shortage on these systems and they tell everybody weekly yo you might be able to get a couple of copies we're going to be trickling it in people are going to be buying this thing well into next year the resale value alone on these things will force people into the stores to search for these uh systems so 
And if you go to your friend's house and they don't know the, the skinny on the system and they have the system and you see it, you're like, whoa, that's that's different. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a boost. You're going to leave that house with that feeling of I got to be included in this elite package as well. So mm-hmm. I love the way where Phil went with it. I like the marketing idea behind it. Create the artificial uh, shortage uh, narrative to it and mm-hmm. also make it feel like it's a premium elite thing for you to have it. Lord King, before I pass it, I just want to ask you one question. Now, what about, I understand that logic and I'm, I, I totally see where you're going. I'm not knocking that. My question to you is, what do you see, what do you say for the people, like I said, these retailers that are saying they requested 100. Now, what about the people who actually come in on store November 7th? There's only five units and there's nothing to pick up. Fight. You know, fight, fight. <laughs> I'm done. Fight for it. Put it, yo. Put the world star. World star that. World star it. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I got five. That don't you think that this runs the risk of majority of customers going to gravitate towards a cheaper console? Playing hundred games for some X. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation bundle, or whatever it is. Like maybe, maybe not. not. This has effect if it's not on shelves. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's the risk you run when you do Here's this artificial uh, shortage stuff. Maybe not. <laughs> Here's the thing. When Maybe you, you artific- make them fight for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let, 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 let's be real here. Would, uh, yeah. would the Switch have sold what it did if it didn't have Zelda on launch when it did that artificial? No doubt. Show? Facts. But regardless well, what, of what, how what it got there, what, what, what does Xbox there? got to push out to make people... You, you keep telling it? us, you know, mm-hmm. these ifs. We don't live in the land of if. This is what happened. <laughs> All right, okay. we're gonna live, but, we're gonna you're, live you're, in the you're, land of facts. You can no, we can situation. we can say a lot of things. We can say a billion things with if. Stop that. If is out okay, the door. but but no, it's you're comparing a completely different scenario to a completely unrelated one. <sighs> What's your point, lad? It, it's like, look, the reason that the switch works the way it does is because it's got exclusive. You can only get it on that platform, and it's the hot thing right now. And it's its own oh, thing. It doesn't have an S. It's the no, lower son. tier. No, stop it. It's not Eddie coming around. Is he jumping on the train? No, <laughs> that's not like, like, no, no, no. That's, not, that's besides the point. I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, keep talking that talk. I like when you talk that way. <laughs> I'm saying that the the switch doesn't have a a, a stand in version like the s does with the x okay facts, facts. you have to mm-hmm. just get this people are gonna go walk in there it. and they'll be like mm-hmm. where's the x so, you know microsoft want the right? s to sell we're talking just, about right. he just but, said right. that. we're talking about x's right now that's what we're right. at and he just with. said that yo Listen, they're pushing the about, s as the narrative we're talking about the supply demand and whether or not it's going to hurt the overall scenario of the x right. so people are gonna right. walk in they'll be like yo i want an xbox brand we're talking about Casual right. people, people come from PlayStation, they go walk in, they'll be like, I need an X. They'll be like, well, um, we don't have an X, but we got a pro. Well, I'll take that then. That's what's literally going to happen. Oh, yo, and then you know what? Then they sold the pro. Oh, well. But we're talking November NPD. Yeah, and, but I, and Microsoft, two lords said I said at the beginning, they're going to win just off of pre-orders alone. They're yeah. going to have at least two They're million off of pre-orders. Okay. Okay. Lord Sav, you've been... Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's uh, the, the Phil Spencer Young thing. Chris. <laughs> the Phil Spencer thing, like, again, that's the narrative they've had with this system from the very beginning that it's not for everybody. The moment at E3 that the system wasn't announced at $400, they continued that narrative. So him saying that it's, at this point it's still not for everybody, it, it is what it is. Like I don't, I didn't expect anything different from him. Um, they they said all along they're gonna push that S narrative, so the S is what they're pushing as their their the console that's gonna sell the most. In terms of the stock, uh, in terms of the stock, I can I it's a detriment. It, it definitely is a detriment because mm-hmm. with with the excitement that you're seeing, I honestly I expected the Project Scorpio edition to sell out. I honestly right. didn't expect the pre-orders for the base X to sell out, and in most places they're sold out. Like mm-hmm. I, I think. Maybe Best Buy still has it, but I don't even know if that guarantees you're getting it day one. Um, 
but most places are sold out in terms of just their base regular Xbox One X's, which is what something I did not expect. So looking at that, I would say, yeah, they have a problem if they don't have enough stock in store for people to come in and buy it. You need at least, in these big stores, in the Targets, you need at least 100. Listen, I'm trying to get my resales at 2,500, bro. I know you have to go. I hope there's nothing in the streets. I hope there's nothing in the streets. I got those pre-orders, 2,500. Let's go. How many do you have? How many do you have? I got five of them. Five Scorpios. Let's go. That's that's so he can mm-hmm. fund his uh his LG um his flat screen the, the LG flat yes. screen that goes up on the wall. <laughs> yes, the Lord, paper. Lord Inko says they're still available in Europe. Continue, Los yeah. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> so it's one of those things like when you look at the fact that the base pre-orders are almost out, uh, and, and I, again they may still have them in certain places. You know, there's mm-hmm. some demand for that. You need to have a decent amount of stock in stores at anywhere right. from like sixty to hundred consoles in stores. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna move. That's what I say. Like you know, it's better to be safe than sorry because they they don't they're not in that position. It's like Addict said. Like they they don't have that killer app that puts them in a position where they can be like, oh, you know, we we have the new hot thing. And you okay. can't nobody going on eBay to buy an X for fifteen hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred. It's twenty five hundred, and I already <laughs> sold one of them. I need, oh, yeah. I need that soul thing. I need I, that I'll show you. I'll, yo, listen, I already got the payment. I will, I will send you the picture, and then you can go back to sleep. Now, my question. Are you going to keep no, saying like, this sleep thing over and over again? Like, are you yeah, fascinated with me sleeping all of a sudden? Like, what's going on there, man? Uh, I'm are you coming here when I'm happens. asleep and I don't know it? Like, what is uh, up with you when you're asleep? Why you I'm want a, me to sleep so bad, King? Like, the pill, baby. Drink, drink the cup. <laughs> Drink the cup. Drink the cup. <laughs> like I was saying, back on track. So my question is, with that being said, right, and with now, like we just admitted, the segment before, we are not a fans of these Xbox One S bundles, right? These bundles seem uninspiring, right? So my question is, how do you expect them, or the Lords, expect them to win the month with limited stock, we know Nintendo's ramping up production. We've got articles saying they're talking like two milli or two whatever it is that months. yeah on, on deck, you know. And we still have Sony. Let's not act like Sony's not a factor out here, right? So we still, with all these things, do those these two lords of mine, Lord Addict and Lord Kid, <laughs> feel I, that, that without a shadow of a doubt, stand behind my words, like, oh, brother. My God, I'm still there. Like here's the Stay thing. My words. Here's the thing. Okay, let's say mm-hmm. let's throw out like you know numbers from you know previous years. Last year they sold a little over a million. You know, just the uh, the regular X's, well, not the X's, obviously the standards. Okay, so let's say they they do around that because it's the holiday. You got Black Friday. You got all that. Uh, so you got that. Let's say they sell half of that. You know, just half. Mm-hmm. And so that's let's say they sell six hundred thousand Xbox One X's, and I think that's underballing it. I kind of think it's going to be a little higher than that. So I mean, we up to like one point five, one point six, and like that is way over what the competition sold last year. But obviously, the Nintendo Switch wasn't here last year. But my only thing with the Switch is I think a lot of people are going to go out and buy a Switch when Mario comes out. Mm-hmm. Yep, and. I think they're because they're going to want that. They're going to want that bundle when it drops. And that's yes, going to be in October, right. the end of October. And that's not going to be in November MPDs. No, but remember. Oh, no, you know, you're right. You're, from a technicality standpoint, it's what is it? The 27? What is it? Yeah, 27. 27. Yeah, OK. So it's that like very last week of they're, October. You know, mm-hmm. these, they're going to get these bundles because of how because of, you know, the, the shortage rate that people expect from switches. They're not going to wait a month later. The majority of these switches of those bundles are going to be purchased in October. So, and then I have another issue. I don't know how What's up? Switch going, Switch, uh, Nintendo saying they are, you know, doubling production. It's like, okay, so are you wanting to sell a million uh, in Black Friday? Like, can they can they have the stock to sell all of November and Black Friday? Because I don't know what they can do that because they can literally sell on Black Friday what they sold all okay. month, mm-hmm. just on Black Friday again. But, so I don't mm-hmm. understand... It, it that's just a good like, point. That's a good point. I'm not, not stock means nothing to me unless I see the stock. 
But th- this is the thing, though. Like throughout the whole year, this is why they've had these artificial shortages throughout the year. Because this is what they've been stockpiling. They stockpiling them. Like they can switch them, baby. We gonna hustle them so. <laughs> I mean, honestly, again, it, it, th- throughout the whole year, you would have consoles right before big Nintendo releases, before Splatoon, before mm-hmm. um, before Mario Arm. Kart, before Arms. They, all of a sudden, consoles appear in in, in stores, and it's the same thing. so everything else they've been stockpiling when they take. Two million is because they, they would not come out with a number like that if they didn't feel confident they could come close to hitting that. So I, to me, they've been stockpiling all year long. I mean, they, they can stockpile. But what, what, what is their version of what they, have they put out a number of how many they have? What what their stockpile? Well, we have a number on how many Xbox One X does it. That's just walking and buy. That's not pre-ordering. Pre-ordering is what they're going. How many did? How many did the Switch sell just on pre-orders? Just on pre-orders. I don't know. How many of the Xbox One original sell just on pre-orders? What is like two point five, two point three? I don't know. I don't know if the rip. I don't. PlayStation was like one point seven, one point eight NPD. Yep, we won that first Mm -hmm. month, and that was it. Mm-hmm. No, what the, uh, <laughs> Xbox One two months of that no, year no. in NPD, and they lost ever since then, pretty much. Like when it comes down to it, it's like I get that it's a hot product, and I get that you know the Switch is going to do well. It, it, I, it, no doubt in my mind, it beats PlayStation. No doubt in my mind. And if you know mm-hmm. if it beats play, Xbox, it's not like I. Oh, and they covered around. We said it. It's covered around. No, bro. no I'm not acknowledging that, bro. I'm being realistic here. <laughs> the, there is a there is a possibility they can't. I just don't think it's high. I, I I'm don't. Not I, it in the I do not think it's not, high. I'm not, I'm okay, not that negative energy out there. You're not visualizing your knee touching the want, canvas. No. Okay. Nope. If nope. you want my honest opinion, I think Sony gonna be dead last. Mm, but even, Only even because with they the, even stole the most. Rights, even with the marketing rights, even with, with, with a lot of the I get that, I, but at the you know, people don't realize how like how much a pre order and how much uh, a new product sells right out the gate. If we were talking December, I'd be like, yo, there's probably no chance that Xbox wins in December. But we talk about the launch month, it'll be a different story if it came out the end of November. It was like the 28th, 29th, but it's the beginning of the November. Mm -hmm. What's the beginning of November? Oh, you're talking about, um, oh, you mean Xbox One X, right? Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. It's going to be, it's going to be significant. I I guarantee you whatever they have that, (laughs) what they're talking, the way they're talking, it's only going to be whatever pre-orders. But I think the the (laughs) pre-orders is going to be enough. You know, what you got to consider is you got to consider the S. The S is right. probably going to sell double what the X sells. And when you put them bundles. both together, it's probably going to tower though. over no, everything. But the else. bundles, though, is no, not bundles. The bundles. But no, see, bundles, here's the thing. Though. Those bundles, <laughs> and here's the thing. Those bundles <laughs> don't apply to us. But who do All they right. apply to? Two yeah, seven yeah, nine, yeah, right. they casual, apply. They casual. scream casual. No, you're right. Screaming. Rocket League is casual. Um, mm-hmm. my, I don't know if Minecraft is casual, but it's popular. People going to walk um, in Halo, and two twenty. Uh, two because I do, you know, uh, Lord Jazz. He says he thinks they're going to drop the uh, the S is $50 for uh, mm-hmm. for Black Friday, which is a good possibility. So, mm-hmm. p- someone walks in, sees $250, and especially the Game Pass. They see three months of Game Pass, three months of Xbox Live Gold. I don't have to buy either one of those. They're like, well, what does what does Game Pass have? They're like 100 games. You like put it in my cart. <laughs> Look, oh, these are good arguments, you know. So I'm just glad, Lord, so the Lord's uh, they're coming around. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Lord Addict's coming around. Yeah, okay, okay, bro. You know, yeah, it's yeah, not, it's not anything about okay. coming around. It's about being it's realistic. Weird. Like it no, really I respect is. that. I respect it because two months ago we wasn't realistic, <laughs> and I like that you're in the, on the realism train. I like no. Nope. You know, I nope. said from the start, it depends I'm in on the their stock. I've said yeah. from the start, it depends on Nintendo stock. And to be Back. honest with you, they Back. could have stock to go through Black Friday. No, you, they you, you've still always have said, Lord, that, in your defense, you've always said that. And your, your whole concern was that you didn't believe Nintendo would have the stock. I don't think that they'll always have the stock that. to no, get I agree. all of Black Friday. I, I agree think with they'll you. have You're some stock. On and the bla- like, mm-hmm. there's a difference between having stock for Black Friday and having mm-hmm. stock for Black Friday. Kai, like, Kai Batu like, makes a good point. He says Minecraft and Rocket League are cross play with Switch, which Nintendo Microsoft has been pushing. So you think maybe that might be like a little side hustle by Microsoft yeah. to eat off the, the Switch success? 
Like, I, I think but, play with those you know, two games. There's Rocket diff- League comes out, I believe, in that month, I believe. I believe Rocket League comes out for Switch in that month. Like, there's a diff- Like, let's say, what I mean by are they going to get through Black Friday is I meant, are, you know, you got mm-hmm. that panel. You walk in there, they open the doors to Walmart. You walk in there, they got that panel of, uh, of mm-hmm. Switches. How many panels of those do they got in the back? You're going to see. We're going to see. I just you know, know shout out to money. Most of the money time. Real quick. Mm-hmm. They got like six or seven panels of Xbox One S's and panels of PS4s. How many switches are they going to have back there? Oh, no, they already have that. No, they, that's going to And Best Buy and all that, that's going down. They already have the Mario stuff up on deck. That's a fact. The kiosks is in there. So the, Nintendo's on their game with that. I got to give them that. Shout out to B-Money with um his point. It was like, don't sleep on Sony. They can still drop the, uh, the pro pricing for the holiday as well. Sony is still holding its cards. That's they better. Yeah. They yeah. That's they better. Yeah. Yo, they better drop the price to the floor on that pro, because it ain't doing anything anyway. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for that pro. And, that and pro's you know, dead. I, I agree with the Mario thing, but how much of that bundle are they going to use in October? When Mario It's only comes like out? a few days in October. You acting like it's the middle but of I, October. But, you, but people are going to pick it up. When is the, when is the right. bundle come out? And but didn't Zelda have the same carryover effect where it came out or one of them games that they what are they? No, t- Zelda Mario came out Mario. at the beginning. No, right, my bad. Of my March. bad. You're right. It's not that. The whole it was uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart came you out. You take the. End of the month prior, right? Won that MPD for the short week, and then proceed the, the next month. We're and, comparing and a sixty dollar title to a three hundred dollar machine. We're talking the same thing with Xbox. What is right? Yeah. We talking the same thing. We're, so I, no, I said we're comparing the the MPD sales of a software, comparing it to a hardware. Yeah, but the, okay. you got. I mean, but, but that, that, that the game Mario is sold on its own. Also. That's that people been waiting to push Switch hardware. Like well, that is I, the flagship I, I, I get title that. for Switch. But what I'm saying is. A, a lot of those sales are going to be in October. You know, the, obviously there's some going to so no one's going to get a November no. Switch not Mario that. bundle. I a lot. <laughs> no, everyone's going to say we got it in October. We're finished. Did I, I think say? Oh, I want I to think hear. only the hardcore buying it on the 27th or whenever it comes out. The, the, only the hardcore. Everybody else is going to wait to November. Everybody else is going to try. How many of these Mario bundles are going to be available for? That's the question. For November. That's the question. Uh, how do we know that these Mario bundles aren't going to the majority? Obviously, I think, you know, Nintendo going to keep a little bit for Black Friday. You know, they, they're going to try to keep some of that stock. But at the end of the day, that's their biggest title. Are they going mm-hmm. to hold all of them back? How much are they going to hold for that this, right versus they're claiming for that they, they're on deck for that whole purpose? Of November. It's going to be they, interesting. They, they be saying all the time that they, 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 they increase in stock, they increase in stock. And we still see shit sold out in two days. Chief Tommy, that was hilarious. He said so he is out of it. They support some extra harassment. I am done. <laughs> Chief Tommy is on fire today. Chief today. Tommy's back today, baby. He's back. <laughs> just, no just, sorry, I shouldn't joke about that. It's so good, man. I'm Yo, not even, don't I'm not, I'm not, we don't we don't that notice that that's not a topic. I'm, uh, I'm, Tonight, not, we don't want to touch that. Touch we, ain't touch it. we ain't gonna touch it. You know, saying shout out to Tick last night. Uh, you know, what I'm saying be money ain't good. Cal, they they definitely hit it on the head. Please uh, listen no, to them on that show. No, you know Lord says um, uh, Tim Dog double check allegedly. That. Yeah, he double checked that. Uh, Jazz, it doesn't carry over. No doubt. Shout out to Enrique. He's like, how many customers are gonna buy a new 4K TV for a console? It's, That's this Black is Black Friday. Be- they're $400 right now. For you cheap ones, the cheap ones, it's $400. Yep. That's with no HDR. <laughs> you got no HDR in your box. But <laughs> no, this, be Yo, I know, friend, this is probably, uh, all jokes aside, I know we all kidding, ripping each other. It's going to be fun to see what happens, man. This is probably one of the most competitive. We, out, we got to let these people go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta let these yeah people football go. time, bro. Football's coming. We're going to close this thing out. We just got, we're going we gonna to pay the bills right quick and get this thing out. But it's going to be a fun month. So that great topic, guys. It's going to be good. All right. So real quick, new ILP post via Lord Addict with the uh, success of games like Cuphead, Zelda, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Hellblade, etc. Especially Zelda. Especially Zelda. Especially Cuphead. Completely <laughs> changed the entire format of the Zelda format just mm-hmm. to do that. Are we seeing a resurgence in hard difficulty games becoming popular? So A, yes, real gamer skills are back in a big way. B, no, difficult games don't equal good games. That is the question. Those are the choices. The ILP hey, Twitter can, can, can I put a third on there? Sure. What's the third? Go the for third it. The third one is Giga Scrub. 
Do, do, do you cheat and get gaming enhancers? <laughs> do, you cheat, do you cheat and you change the root code so you can walk through the game with your gaming enhancing self? Oh, no. Hip hop, we see you, baby. We got something cooking up. <laughs> that, that's going to be good. What was your third one? Learn, learn Attic before we get out of here. I, I want the third game one to read Get Good Scrum. That's what I want Yo, you, should, you, should, you should put down there the third one. The fourth one should be, or do you game enhance? <laughs> so you can so you can so you can get past the difficulties. <laughs> I am done. Yo, shout out to the chat today, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all was in here strong. Please hit that like, subscribe to the IOP on all the Intercenter Network media outlets. Stick, the, stick around for what I say next. <laughs> I choose Google Play. Hit that ama amazing Tick GM Patreon. We got our multiverse brothers on deck on Monday, so they next in line. Make sure you come check them out. Link is in the description. All that stuff helps the Lord. Lord King, you have something else you want to close out? You said you want you want Oh, to no. I want everybody to do their outros. Do your outros. Do it. Do it. Do it. No do doubt. It. No doubt. Lord Attic, my brother from another brother. Where can the fine people find you? What's going on with the uh, Attic channel? And, uh, yeah. you, you can find me on Twitter, uh, uh, Lord Attic ILP. You can find me on Xbox Live, Room to Kill, PSN, when I'm ever on there, Room to kill and you can find me on youtube gaming addict i've been doing a live stream of a uh, shadow of War, so you can find me there thanks for everyone coming make make sure you like that button uh, I, i'm going i expect at least 40 on this thing so make sure you hit that like button mm -hmm. lord sovereign where can i find people find you yeah so definitely shout out to everybody in the chat man like you guys got to understand that we're here we're here to have these discussions, man, and to and to get at each other, but in a, in a, in a playful and, and a positive way. I'm only here to go at the Be an anchor, man. Be an anchor. When you when, when you woke. <laughs> you said he woke. I'm good. I told you, man. Like, what is your obsession with me sleeping? I go for the Lord's sleep shit. It's funny. It is trending. Lord of the sleep. I go. Lord of the sleep, man. Bend the knee. So, <laughs> the five people can find me on Twitter at Lord Sob, ILP, and on um, Xbox Live and PSN at BX Sovereign. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Lord King. Ha -ha! It's here, son. Yo, listen. Hey, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, man. This is this is actual factual truths. This week, right now, after I leave out of here, I'm going upstairs to my PlayStation. I'm going to log in. I'm going to play for PSN for, for the month. I understand? Because I got a match coming up with hip hop. I'm using performance in Hampson Gamer. I got I got a, I got a match with him. And, and listen, listen, it's listen, I'm I'm gonna give y'all all the parameters later after the fact. After I clean his clock. I'm going to clean his clock. You understand Can I, uh, me? After no no, shut up, shut up. I'm going to clean his clock. You understand? I'm 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 going to I'm going to break him down and it's gonna be all on video. It's gonna be on Twitch, it's gonna be live stream, and we're gonna put that on the pit network, and you guys are gonna see me live in the flesh break a dude down. So I'm going to break him down to his last compound. He's not going to be able to be found again after this. He's not going to go online again after this. After this, I'm going to destroy him so bad that you're not going to see him again. Watch. Oh, I, I do have a request, okay? There, there's a really, really good chance that Lord King David sweeps this dude, but just off the off case that somehow... You always like to put that stupidness in the universe. Nobody listen to that, bro. That's, that, that's, that's not even it, bro. We don't, inter it, we don't entertain it, that. You gotta let me finish. Just nah, we don't gotta let you finish. Go to sleep. The, he, Go to sleep. Off the, the, the Go to sleep like Hip Hop Gamer. That he loses this game. Yeah. I want everyone in the chat to go to Lord King David's Twitter and tweet him the word, the letter L. And that's all. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, listen, listen. We all know, we all know, we all know. This is this is kind of messed up that you got a, a, a team member that's not supporting you to the fullest. So listen, man. Watch your dude with the quinine. Your man over there, he got the quinine. So watch him. And I, I want the first person I'm gonna I'm gonna text, I'm gonna tweet, I'm gonna get at is at it. I said, I told you, bro. I told you, bro. Don't you ever <laughs> doubt me. When the lights come on, when the lights come on, the king performs. Listen, I open the conversation. No, I don't care about what you said. Anything you do, I support you 100. percent So I don't want to hear nothing you got to say right now. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. When the lights come on, the king performs. I'm going to break this dude 
down, you're not going to hear from him again. I'm throwing them away. I'm throwing them away. Look, can ask, look <laughs> if, if you want to tell hip hop to put the belt on the line. Oh, no. I'm coming with my own belt. And I'm leaving with his belt. I'm a champion. No, and he don't know this. No, he don't no, understand. No, I'm no, going to got, break I'm him down. No, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> what happened on that? We got to make this. We, we got to get this. Son, man. You got to talk to hip hop. He's got to send D, D his belt if he loses. He's got to. Send He's not going to do that. We're, we're working out the finalities of the He's not going to do that. But He's we, already got, scared. We've got the base parameters of the matchup in place for all the people in the chat that still to still check it for the matchup. The base parameters in check. Lord King is down for that smoke for whatever it is. Every, whatever, wherever, so right however. Now we we just waiting for Lord Hip Hop to agree on one or two parameters as far as the stream. We're gonna stream it. You know, I see the fans in the chat. Y'all want the title match? I'm gonna throw that on the table and see if he's willing. You know what I'm saying? To put that out. I'm you know willing. Because ah. be the belt, it should be belt versus belt. Lord King's bringing his belt. We all know Lil Hip Hop's got his belt, so we could do belt for belt. We could do that, and let's and let's just see. Yo, you know and then I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Matches a fist fight. Nobody <laughs> wants no fist fight, Lord. Yo, Hip-Hop. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> After I take his belt, I'm gonna do like Lennox Lewis and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> are, you gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. are you gonna take it from like right there in there? Go to McPherson yes, the moment yes, get the listen, listen, straight listen, the listen, right I'm, I, listen, listen, I'm gonna FaceTime it right out to Brooklyn, pick up the belt, and throw it off the Brooklyn bridge. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> and on that note, stay tuned for what's going on. This coffee happens. Blue Lord Chief Time is going down soon. We got we we just working out the oh, it's uh, supposed uh, to be Monday. Iron Lord it's to be Monday. Monday. We will we will update the Iron Lord plastic uh <laughs> Twitter with the details, the specifics of streaming, all of the parameters. We're gonna have that out there for y'all. I appreciate this. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. You're gonna Follow find King out when David it go down. Is, I got is you. At King David OTW, right? Correct, sir. Yes, sir. I got yeah, you. Follow him on Twitter. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna be promoing this thing hard. Thank you for everyone yo, that came through the chat. We about your, to your king football. gonna represent that for sure though. Oh, you already know football is here. Yo. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta said throwing the battle off the bridge is better. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you stop instigating. <laughs> I know that. No. We're going to end this show. Peace.